What part of my behavior would suggest that I'm a planner type of person? Cool stuff, though. Uh, Brad's confirmed. We're doing One Piece chat tomorrow. 6 p.m. One hour of no holds barred talking about the entirety of One Piece uh, with Brad Ellis. Pumped for that. Um, and then uh, it looks like it's going to arrive today. The Game Boy Advance um, uh, One Piece game. Looks like it's going to come. I got an update two days ago that said it's not going to make it in time. And then I got an update just today that says, actually, you know, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's going to make it. I'm like, all right, we'll see. The, there was a 14 minute Pokemon overview video yesterday. I saw they dropped a trailer. I didn't watch it. I didn't even peek at it. Didn't even look. Uh, if I plan anything, it's just on a piece of, it's on a notepad. I just scribble it down with a pen and paper, but then I kind of ignore it. Uh, let me catch up on those subs and resubs. Ridnar, I saw you. Thanks for being a 12-monther. Hey, Kyle, can I get an oh yeah or two for passing my probation with exceeded expectations? You can never request two, but you are getting two. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Amish lover, thanks for being a 26-monther. I would like to admit a formal... I would like to submit a formal request to have the word spoopy banned in chat. Yeah, I uh I accept your request. Settings, moderation. Uh There is a spot where I can do this. I can absolutely I can absolutely turn the word spoopy off. Banned terms and phrases. Yup. Spoopy add okay spoopy's been blocked <laughs> shabello thanks for being a 13 monther hey kyle and chat looking forward to some spoopy times with y'all <laughs> this is why i should read ahead this is why i should read ahead yep 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 okay uh <laughs> Also, we have exclamation point calendar command in chat. Thanks, Shabello. Thanks for making that calendar. Silent Trapper, thanks for being an eight-monther. Mimi Moonbeam, thanks for being a 15-monther. 15, 15 months, heck yeah. What are your feelings on the new Need for Speed? It's funny. Uh, so there's a new Need for Speed trailer that hopped up this week. And it's not anime. It's not anime at all. Just as, just as we had deduced from that two-second gif. There's no anime. Their eyes are normal sized. It's cell shaded. Yes. It is. Graffiti like. It's so dorky. There's like little anarchy symbols in the splash of graffiti. But it's like you're a game by EA. Uh, Kirk, thank you for gifting a sub to Spoopy. Reminds you of Drawn to Death. Yeah, because it's scribbly. It's scribbly graffiti. It's like, uh, you know, it's kind of neon-like. We you know when those commercials where people would like draw neon things in the air. Um, and so that's the aesthetic of it. I think it's cool to try something. I wish it was more anime. I wish it was actually anime. Jeff Grubb needs to watch more anime if he says that's anime. We can give him plenty of recommendations. But that that's not anime. <laughs> All my, thanks for being a 15 month there. SSX on tour. Yeah, there's a little bit of XX SSX on tour on tour there. I haven't prepared my Vextober piece, but I'll be in. On Monday, I'll be in. I'll get one in. I know what it is. I I just in my mind. You seem out of sync with audio. Uh I don't refresh, maybe. It's not different. Uh have you checked out any demos on Steam? No. Last night's story. Thanks for being a 15 monther. Um, can I get no ya for getting my master's degree in the mail today? I took my twice as long as most student 
It took me twice as long as most students, but now I have proof of being a biotechnology engineer. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Masters are a huge deal. It's true. I don't play many demos at all. I just like I just like hopping into a game as it is. If it's bad, we play the bad version of that game. Will I stream it when it comes out? It's coming out this year, is it not? Probably not though. That, that's a seventy dollar game. It would make a great one nighter, but that's a that you're hopping in. That's commitment. Woo Jack, thanks for gifting that sub. December second. No, we're out that week. That's Game Awards week. Plus, I think there's a better game coming out early December. That's like, I gotta play that. I forget. Speaking of Jeff Grubb, MinMax announced the All-Star Trivia Tower if you want to mention it. Yeah, let me pull that up. Callisto's early December. You're right. Marvel's Midnight Suns is the one I was more interested in. The anxious tag actually never comes off. <laughs> Why is the anxious tag on? That never comes off. Oh, uh, that video must just be on Twitter. All right. Min Max Show Twitter. Ew, it is at Min Max Show. You tell me somebody else had at Min Max? Oh my God. Hanson needs to get this shit together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what I was looking for. Okay. Alrighty, stand by. Yeah, I rated at min max once. That's Maximo, brother. There you go. In due time. The biggest crossover event in games media returns with MinMax's Trivia, trivia Tower All-Stars. All 24 pros enter, competing in game trivia for a charity of their choice. Only pros enter, competing. Pros enter, com pros enter, competing pros enter, competing in game trivia for a charity of their choice. Pros enter, competing in game trivia for a charity of their choice. Only 24 pros enter, competing in game trivia for a charity. 24 pros enter, com 24 pros enter. This is the man we have to show anime to. 24 pros enter, competing in okay, game sorry, trivia. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. The biggest crossover event sorry. in games media returns with Min Max's Trivia, trivia Tower All Stars. All -Stars. 24 pros enter, competing in game trivia for a charity of their choice. Only one person wins. <laughs> this year, in addition to MinMax contributing $1,000, you can donate and add to the winning prize pool. The higher the total, the sweatier the competition will get. GoFundMe.com slash Trivia Tower is the place to donate, and 100% will go to the winner's charity. So if they made it to the second round in last year's intense competition, we invited them back. And As I did. we have a whole new batch of eager competitors this time around. Will reigning champion Marcus Stewart defend his crown? Will Dan Reichert blow it again? Tune in live <laughs> on MinMax's YouTube channel on Monday, October 17th at 8 p.m. Central. And please help spread the word about the prize pool. Let's shatter our goals and support a great cause. GoFundMe.com slash Trivia Tower. You will not want to miss this. We'll see you there, everybody. The biggest crossover event in games media returns with MinMax's Trivia, Trivia Tower All-Stars. All -Stars. 24 can you, pros enter. Can you, can you tell me what the context is? What's the context? Bars. 24 pros enter. 24 pros enter. <laughs> game tri What's the context? That was literally yesterday? October 17th, chat. Oh, the video. That video clip was yesterday. Got it, got it, got it. He's Darth Maul. I need more context.
he had his face painted for the giant bombathon thing. Okay, so it was it was it was not that much context, is what you're saying. It was just a fun thing to do. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I respect that. And they just do the scissor thing now. Okay, I like it a lot. Lifewater Canada, because I have a Canadian friend who cares deeply about charities and what he gives to and everything. So I just asked him and he says, my favorite charity is Lifewater Canada. So I said, okay, <laughs> yoink, I'll just do your thing. Yeah, Dan, Dan, Dan on the couch, Dan. Yep, yep, yep. I don't think he wants to be called out like that, but why Why not? Let's call him out. That was literally from yesterday's Giant Bombathon. That's so fun. At one point, he was wearing a full-on inflatable gizmo costume trying to hail a taxi as a challenge. And he failed. You, the way you say trying to implies to me he could not hail a taxi. <laughs> He failed. <laughs> it was Brooklyn. They basically don't have cabs. Mm. So wait, Giant Bomb has a studio in Brooklyn? No, Oily, I did not watch the new Pokemon trailer. I think I'm, I think I've, I think I've essentially worked myself into media blackout, even though I said, I don't care about this game anymore. Uh, I think I'm there. I think I don't want to see anymore. It was a hotel for the event. Cool. Really, really cool. It was an event like easy living style, 18 hour stream where they all got together. Everybody flew to Brooklyn? Dang, I didn't appreciate it. I didn't appreciate it. I saw I saw them streaming and they were it was like Mario Party and I didn't really check in. That's actually really cool. And that they would do cool little challenges and stuff like that. Lots of guests and good times. I respect that a great deal. Glasses are new as of four or five months ago. We've been wearing these glasses. Um, Let me grab my coffee. I think we're not going to watch uh, today's YouTube video because it's not like... It's not a video game perspective. It's mostly just like Kyle podcasting. Today's YouTube video, uh, a Cars, Cars Happy Meal game review, it's more like me just doing a podcast on my own. It's kind of a downer too. Yeah. Yeah. When do you think I've attempted to make anything uplifting? Welcome to twitch.tv slash Kyle Bossman. What do you mean it's kind of a downer? Can we do the other routes? That'd be a fun idea, actually. We should do some of those other routes. I'll let you know. You'll I'll, No news on Pentaveric Podcast yet, but yeah, expect it by the end of the month. Box Peak is kind of uplifting. Oh, you got to watch the last few episodes. <laughs> you you got to watch the last five, I would say. <laughs> All right, add the downer tag. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get into Twitch Stream Manager. Uh, yeah, uh, edit stream info, tags, downer.
done. Okay. So, uh, because of the, and we're just keeping Jeff Grubb up. Uh, do you know what though? It's like, it's not like, there's no putting this on. Do you know what I mean? He's all in for the character he's playing here. That's what I really appreciate. There's no irony. There's no like, oh, I'm actually pretty self-conscious about this. That's what I really appreciate. Anyway, so uh, we had our charity stream. Uh, I had to do three things out of it. One, I had to sculpt a sonic head out of clay. Mark it. Two, I had to uh, do a VTuber stream. It happened. Mark it. Three, a podcast series detailing each of the six episodes of Netflix's The Pentaveret, the newest project from Mike Myers, the actor who portrayed both Austin Powers and Dr. Evil in the Austin Powers films. And then... Actually, there's a fourth thing. And then we got to do another uh, uh, album, concept album, after the podcast is done. So, yeah, we're still paying off. We're still paying off charity streams. Just want to make sure it happens uh, before the end of October. Quote from the Family Board's Kyle Bossman thread. Bossman's bad toy reviews are the best content he's put out yet. Oh, they didn't call it a downer? Turbo Chicken Man, you should probably post that the episode's kind of a downer on that thread. Booming Show streams! Thanks for being a 24-monther. Congrats on the two years. Yo, Kyle, great work on the streams and, and YouTube. You rule. Thank you, Fumin Show. I was expecting a spooky Halloween turn on that positive comment, but it just turned out fine. I went and got an adult happy meal yesterday. I learned the name of the meal and asked for the 10-piece cactus flea market meal. The woman at the window said one moment and then came back with a, oh, an adult happy meal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do I watch Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? Is that a big influence on you? I've never heard of it before. Okay. Uh. So... Yeah, brief update on this. I purchased it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bought that. Uh, look, chat, you get lonely. You get lonely on, in the downtime, you know? And it's like, I gotta, I gotta buy that sweater. You know, you're not at your best. This was before the attempt to get the Happy Meal. Um, And it's like $92 because of shipping. So that's like, that's my fashion budget for the quarter. <laughs> There's, that's my quarterly fashion budget. At least Grub is happy for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same sweater every episode for delayed and play. That's a really good idea, honestly. That's a great idea. Then we could write it off. Well, we could write it off if it's... Most of the times I wear that sweater, it's on camera. <laughs> If I never if I never wear the sweater off camera, we can write it off. Got to play by the rules. You ever get a burst of adrenaline when you hit buy on something expensive? Uh maybe when I bought my TV. Yeah. That was pretty scary.
Ensign Tiberius. Thank you for being a brand new subscriber and great name. Oops. Oh, shit. I had my uh, alerts off. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. When I use OBS for capture, I always turn it off. I said Ensign. Did I not? Chad, I feel like you're trying to correct me on something I didn't even, I didn't even misstep on. You're like, most people say that wrong. It's pronounced Ensign? It is not. Have you ever watched Star Trek before? Would it be only if most of the times you've worn has been on camera once it becomes time for taxes? After that, it's fair game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a weird thing about... um. Like today's game, Maximo 2. I bought it like two or three years ago. So I didn't write it off that year because I didn't stream it that year. But also, I'm not going to write it off this year because I don't have the receipt from two years ago. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically like you write it off that year and then, yeah, you're good for that. Then I could wear it all the time I want. Anyway, Ensign Tiberius. Thank you very much. For being a brand new subscriber. They say end sign in Star Trek. Yeah, I know. I have a wharf plate. So, uh, this game is very hard. We got save states, baby. Nothing's hard for save staters. Uh, let us, um, they say engage in Star Trek. They do that a lot, too. Captain, I'm engaged. Lol, in Germany, you would have to keep the receipts for 10 years. Whoa. I mean, most of my receipts are digital. You know what I mean? Thanks for purchasing. Here's your eBay receipt. That's most of my stuff. Um, Let us uh grab my coffee. I think the coffee is ready. We've stalled out enough. Uh, in the meantime, you can appreciate my poster. This is why we were late today. I was fiddling with this poster for like 25 minutes, and I'm still not happy with its positioning. Um, but the thing is, I want to light up its entire backside, which is important. Look at that bad boy. It glows. It glows. But yeah, I'm not happy with that inch of gap. <laughs> You see this inch of gap? Oh, there we go. I'm not happy with that inch of gap. It's harder to hang this thing than you would expect. All right, anyway, I'll see you all soon. Bring back Rob. I'll, he'll be back soon. He'll be back soon. I'm just grabbing a coffee. Wolf, comfort me. Captain, I'm engaged. Not product placement. No, no, no. I spent a lot of money on that. This thing was expensive. <laughs> Make it so. <laughs> Make it so. Uh, shall we boot up that game? Have we talked about everything that happened? Need for Speed's not anime. Street Fighter 6 beta launched. Oh, the Mario movie. Right, I don't have a take. I thought it looked a lot better than I ever expected it to. I, uh... The plot leaked a long time ago, and it seems like everything that leaked is accurate. Um, yeah, we got a spooky free Halloween wallpaper. 
You've seen the Stranger Things Halloween decoration that caused a stir. No. Is it a spoiler or is it a... Violent. No watch party for yesterday's video? Yeah, I, f I figured it's just kind of like, it's just me talking, which you got enough of already. You know what I mean? Um, It's uh, just, you know, I highly recommend checking out the video, but it's 15 minutes of me basically podcasting. Unscripted. Oh, is the person hanging or flying? Levitating figure. Flying. Well, it's kind of cool. Shit, I have no idea what's happening in Stranger Things these days. Convincing illusion, dude. Uh, stand by. Let me do this. Uh, save state F1, load state F3. Got it memorized, chat? So as I was, so we're using an emulator. We're using PCX2. Oh, I need to, I need to pick up the actual game. The streamer's code. The code. Stand by. I knocked a Gundam over. I, uh, I'll deal with that afterward. It didn't look good. Tall Geese 3 got wrecked <laughs> as I pulled this game off the shelf. The poor guy, he's, uh, his arms are too heavy. So he's always, like, doing this <laughs> because, like, he's got this just huge stuff on his shoulders and like just his guns are too big. So instead of like standing here, like a regular Gundam, he's just always like, Poof. may I have an Oya oh yeah for having to leave Fort Myers home for having to leave my Fort Myers home after Ian, a couple hundred miles North. So my wife could give birth to our future first cringeling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huge. Congratulations on your future first cringling. Uh, Rube John, thanks for being a 24 month there. <laughs> Happy Friday back at you. Congrats on two years. And then Phil Papadakis, thanks for being a 21 month there. Can I get an oh, yeah, for being rewarded for my first day off of work with a Guardians playoff win? Guardians playoff win. Help me with that. What uh what league are we talking about? Oh yeah. I clicked the horny one by accident. Oh, that's Cleveland. Cleveland Guardians. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They won today? It's funny. Guardians I like. Commanders I don't love. But upgrades both ways. Uh, Maximo versus Army of Zen. We are emulating the game, but we do own the game. There it is. What's this about? K 
Cash America? Was this in like a pawn shop at one point? Media storage and display shelving should be kept separate. I know. I know it. That's why my tall geese fell. Is this like a Ghouls and Ghosts sequel? Yeah, it's kind of um, a spiritual sequel to Ghouls and Ghosts, Maximo. Uh, this is the second one, both on PS2. Uh, first one I did rent and did beat back in the day upon launch. Sequel, I never got around to it. Never got there. Uh, sorry, I was thinking about our memory card, but we can just save state, not an issue. Um... When I was booting it up, we'll see. You'll see. It seems like double jump is way easier. What I remember from the original Maximo is that it had a very specific, like you have a tiny window at the peak of your double jump to press X again. And that's like, that's my, the the memory I have most of that game is how hard it was to double jump. Uh, Corgi Butt, thanks for being a two-monther. I love a two-monther. You love Maximo. These games are awesome. Hell yeah. And then Real Radic, thanks for being a 20-monther. Was there ever a moment during your time in the games industry that reminds you of the Draymond Green and Jordan Poole punch? No. There was one time when we were selling Christmas trees as Boy Scouts. Where there was a physical altercation. So we're talking, we're talking, we're talking 22 years ago. <laughs> it was not the time we were selling Christmas trees. It was not the time for a fight. It was not the time. And Draymond Green, and then Draymond Green showed up and punched all of us. See the Steam Deck video that was showing uh, Switch game emulation accidentally? Yes, I did. Tis the season. No, uh, in my entire time in the games industry, I don't think I witnessed physical violence. Pettiness, yes. Passive aggressiveness, yes. But never that, no. Uh, where's my start button? There it is. Tomfoolery, yes. No, I really don't know how Ben is doing. Uh, is it loud? Chicanery, yes. No, not loud? Okay, just loud for me. What does it mean when your eye twitches? Generally, most of the time, uh, that you're not sleeping enough. That you need better hydration and sleep. I was testing this, I was pretty impressed by the CG. I feel like in the PS2 era, you just spent money on this stuff. Unholy demons! Why I live, Castle Hawkmore will never fall! The victory! Such a bad idea to etch your sword. them into the vault before they rise again sire we can't hold them off much longer quick quickly he said seal the vault behind me but lord morgan you'll be trapped seal it now on this day i charge the heirs of hawkmore to protect this vault with their very lives it must remain sealed forever
your money or your life. What does you say, son? Yeah, who do you think you are? My name is Maximo. Weird little Maximo. emulation thing there. The man who walks with dead. <laughs> what the? Help me! Monsters are attacking my village. Please help us. What the? He's got, um, he's got a Tom Brady jaw. I didn't remember that from Maximo 1. Good to see you too, Grim. I've scoured I remembered him being a little guy. Stout. I remember him being more stout. Did Sophia's alive? Maybe. I smell a soul. The stone powering this thing is a stolen spirit. Captured and compressed. Who would dare do such a thing? Yeah, well, it's like every five seconds costs ten thousand dollars. That's why this cutscene's moving so fast. <laughs> I have to go find who's doing this. Right, and I'll go track that girl back to her village. You must rescue those souls. I'm on it, Grim. Here. If you need me, just use the coin. Thanks. Are you sure I'll be needing this? Oh, yeah. I guarantee you will. Cool. Recap this? I don't remember Grim. Grim I th is the Grim Reaper. I think, yeah, just a, an ally. Um... Get to stay together, game. This is weird. It was not running like this during my tests. Stand by. Yeah, why well, what uh what would be different from now to two hours ago? There we're back. OBS and emulation are a CPU killer. However, this is running on a completely different CPU from uh, OBS. That's why we shelled out for the pay say. Um, when I was testing it earlier, a really annoying thing was um, if you want Maximo to look right, you tap left on the analog stick. If you want him to look left, you tap right. Hate that every time. Can't change it. So what I figured to do was just tap L1 a lot. So you'll see that more often than anything. If that's annoying, let me know. And then, yeah, uh, unlike uh, those GameCube games that we played super up -res, it looks like this game's running at its original resolution, which I kind of like. I would quit immediately. I understand. I can just tap out one. No big deal. Anyway, yeah, you can kind of generally just see from the beginning. We got a nice spooky aesthetic. We got, um, there's a certain chunkiness I like to this game. You can cut the grass. You can go in and upscale in the graphics settings. I didn't see such an option. I saw window size, but I didn't see resolution. Ah! 
chat said this game was hard. These games are known for being very hard. We probably don't kill the bunny, right? Groglox, uh, thanks for being a 26 monther. This game looks sick. Yeah, it does. Thank you. You're welcome. You could. Also reverse the right stick in the settings if I wanted to. All right, stand by. Let me see what I can do there. What settings are you referring to? You chat, you better be clear. Somebody's just like, check the video settings. There's definitely in PCSX2, no video. I got system. I would go to, I'd go to config, I guess, video, core GS settings, window settings, or plugin settings. Um, controllers. I have plug-in settings for controllers, but like, you know what I mean? There's, that's It's never a simple setting. Another resub too? That must've been some time ago. Casper, thanks for being an 11 monther. And Sam J. Conrad, thanks for being an eight monther. Graphics rendering internal. Okay, so start one step in front of graphics because that's not an option I see. I mean, well, yeah, we can sh we can show we can show the shit. Config, video. What is graphics? Go to controllers and then pad one tab. I mean, like controllers there's no pad one tab you know what i mean chat you're talking you're like this is why these these are why these are bad tips you're on an outdated version of pcx2 i went i went to i downloaded the most recent version chat it was right there on the front of their page <laughs> click plugin settings you got it Okay, so uh, to reverse our right analog stick, we are going to shut up. Uh, stop it. Um, stop. We're going to change this to left. And we're going to change this to right. I don't think that worked. It did not. It did. No, it didn't. Please. I wish I can't even read it. I can't even read. You can't stretch this more. I have no idea what it's trying to tell me there. Uh, X plus. Yeah, okay. I think that actually worked. All right. Um. Now. As for our graphics, you want core GS settings. And I'm like, what? I'm just like, get me out. Plug in. Okay, 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 okay. Video, plugin settings. Oh, here we go. Hell yeah. Um, let's go ahead and do 3x native, baby. Oh. Okay. My oh my. Emulation, dude.
so nice. And I can use the analog stick? That feels really nice, too. Good shit, chat. Really good shit. Oh, that man's dead. It seems interlaced though, doesn't it? Remember get the written latest version? This is the latest version. Thank you. The latest recommended version. There are coins in the tall grass. What song is that from? You can't find it anywhere. You're telling me the song isn't called Cookies and Cream? It is, because we're, we're searching for the word cream on Epidemic. PS2 games all have weird interlacing. Yeah, I think that might be a thing we can't actually fix. Trying to figure out if we have any cool combos. I think not yet. Look at that resolution boost, dude. Holy shit. We don't have a dodge roll, but we got a shield. Close her off. So that's very ghouls and ghosty. Damn, so I can't... Yeah, I should not have even had a sip. Because now I need it. <laughs> this shit's on normal difficulty. I'm already dead. Put your shield up. Oh, it's R2 for shield. I got. I have a sliver of life left. Okay, bro. You make shrimp or beef? You should make beef. You should make beef. There's no circumstance in this world for which I would say, yeah, make some shrimp. Cool with that guy now. You gotta play him tight. Emulators very rarely actually update those stable builds on their site. So where would I go to get PCX2, the new version? Yeah, I'm cool with having the stable build. I guess I'm not too concerned about having the most recent one. Sure, what do you have to buy? Uh, hint scroll. That's chat. We don't need those. Cool. We'll buy that someday. That's worth saving up for. Thank you. Armored boxer. So cool. Uh oh, somebody's dying. Where? In this house? Alright, so far, uh, it actually makes no sense to hit strong attack. 
So far, his rapid uh, light attack combo is the best. You need that scroll for the best weapon later. Really? Yeah, we'll buy it then. Good to know. Thanks, chat. This is what I'm talking about. No. Okay. Never mind. She didn't give me any coins. Got your stump, you dumb rabbit. Find somewhere else to live. I would say Pumpkin Jack is a PS2 styled platformer. Modern PS2 styled platformer. If you're looking like for something like that this season, something like this this season. Somebody open that wall. Thank you. My lady, how do I get there? My lady, my lady. My lady, how do I get there? My lady. Teach me to get there. Thank you. We've been there. We've been there. There's just a treasure chest there now. No! You're a nasty lady! You have a mimic behind your house. Well, I got your treasure. Thank you. She's not going to acknowledge it. Okay. Keep hitting L2 to block. That was a nice mimic. Uh, Arivia, thanks for being a 26 month or 26 months of Kyle streams is so piss. I don't know what that means. Oh, uh, so yeah, check this out. You can double jump immediately. You can double jump late into your jump and you can double jump at the height of it. You actually have a lot of double jump options. Okay, this guy's gonna tell us what we need to do to open that chest. Thank you. Nice, thank you, buddy. Sorry about your mill, though. Can I get a woo for one of my favorite streamers streaming one of my favorite games? It's you in this. Thank you for clarifying. Woo! I know Ninja's back on Fortnite. If you walk off a ledge, you can jump twice. Sorry, I'm having a hard time practicing that. Okay. Shield's clutch, huh? You're trash, you're trash. Nasty robots. Oh, he's still alive. Okay. Obviously, I'm being a little too cautious there. Because that first one killed me.
Yeah, you can totally jumble jump twice after uh, dropping off a ledge. You can jump twice, excuse me. These sound effects are so good. It's a cool old Capcom game. Oh, no, no. I missed five treasures. I missed six secrets. Wow. Did you chat? You saw them? You saw all those secrets and you didn't even think to tell me? Do you think we come back with uh, more powers? It looks like we can go back there at any time. Save? F1, baby. That's how we save. Didn't want a backseat game. It's totally allowed. You're 100% allowed to. Should have bought that scroll. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's do Into the Fire and then maybe we can come back and uh, do level 1 again. Try to 100% that bad boy. Bonus materials. I'll come save you. I wonder if that one dead guy was savable. Yeah, we need that shield that picks up coins. A bit of weird uh, emulation effect there, right? Around the rims. Big money. Do we have to kill the rabbits? Care to purchase an item? Teach me. Death coin? Shoot, I feel like I should buy that. Cool. Obviously, we can't afford any of it. I could buy a death coin, but I mean, we have save states. He said you could throw your shield even further. That's the first time I hit R1, huh? Um, How would one throw their shield? With the circle button, bro. Oh my god. There's no way you're not dead. There it is. You gotta pressure a robot. That seemed like a good tip. But it seems like the only way forward is to fall. The down strike in. Well, that's just cute. Look at that. So now we know that to go forward, you have to down strike. Something nice about PS2 era level design, man. Why'd you have to make it bark? <laughs> I think it's to be more disturbing, like those uh, cat plants in Final Sword. So weird, when I press circle now, he goes for the uppercut. How do I get him to throw the shield again? The red bar under your health. Got it. Yep. Every time I throw that shield, it uses that resource. Good shit. Oh, no. Please leave him alone. Dang it. 
Damn it. <laughs> they didn't make it. You know what? You know what? You know what? They're gonna make it. They're gonna make it. We don't settle for casualties. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, kind sir. Very nice. A hidden chest by your front door. Like, here? Was that time travel? <laughs> yeah. That was it. Why are these robots doing this? Why are you doing this? Sucked. So once you're in your combo, you're in. You can see that big boy winding up his arms. I think that's the chest she was talking about. When she said close to her front door. What do you think about this rope around this tree? <laughs> so to do this move, you uh, just rotate the analog stick in a circle. You can reveal hidden chests by landing from a jump on specific spots. That has to be how we missed six in the last level. That rope was holding the cart. Oh, okay. Environmental storytelling. There's people in here? Hello? I'm coming. I hear you. Damn. I didn't realize we lost our helmet at, at some point. Okay. Uh, a true hero would, in fact, go save those people. However, I have a feeling I won't be able to come back to this spot. So as a proper anti-hero, I'm going to go downstairs and get that treasure chest. Oh my god. I paid for it. Oh, she's right there. I don't know how to help you. I don't have any powers to turn off fire. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Um, you too, right? Yeah, what do I do for you? What do I do? What would you do? Spider-Man, turn off the fire. You got it, chat. <laughs> I'd watch it. Oh, there we go. You're free now. Yep, 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 yep. Cool, 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 cool. I actually love that. So this guy's probably in the same kind of predicament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just gotta find this wall for you. There we go. There you go. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, kind sir. Beautiful. Gotta smash that barrel. We all know it. You know what? A worthy barrel smash. It 
It's cool you can replay levels, honestly. Seems like he was charging something there. He's just doing a cool taunt. I like how useful the shield is. No dodge roll is tough to get accustomed to. You're right, the sound effects are nice. When that thing's cranking up a punch, it creaks. Beautiful creek. I like how the key hangs from his belt. Maximo games are some sweet sleepover memories for you. That's funny. Yeah, it's a good sleepover game. Pass the controller. If Maximo came out today, they'd give it a dodge roll and call it a Souls-like. Why wouldn't you at this point? You'd be a fool not to call your game a Souls-like. I actually like saving all these people. What do you think about these ar these armored boxers? I assume they come off. Is Souls Light a thing yet? I bet if you googled Souls Light, um, it would pop up. I bet you would get some hits. Uh, okay, I think we should buy this though. I don't think there's any question. We should all buy this, right? L-O-T-R games at Sleepover. That's a good pick. Are we all cool with this? I just need one person to say, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it seems worth it. This seems like the thing to buy. Thank you, boy. This seems like the thing Chat was talking about, like, uh, secrets will glow. Thank you, boy. Is it temporary? Does it go away? The way it was still there in the store, uh, filled me with fright. There it is. Yeah, so if you jump and then hold down shield as you land, you can do a dodge roll. It's permanent, cool. That's a tough tip, but we'll uh, we'll try to utilize that. I doubt it has any iframes. Can I get an oh yeah, I just got my Steam Deck? Yeah. I saw they announced this week that there's no backlog anymore. Oh, yeah. There's no waiting list? Pretty wild. You got yours today, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was checking my comments on my YouTube channel, and... I made an episode when the Steam Deck was rumored, when it was called the, um... Ooh, I forget what it was called. It was called, like, Travel Boy or something like that. Um... The episode title is Steam's... Or Valve's New Dumb Idea. Steam Pal. It was called Steam Pal. That's cool, huh? So that must just be his ledge grab.
the comment is bad take might be worth revisiting this one but i feel like the episode itself was actually kind of positive about the idea and i just made that title you know something to provoke people into clicking clickbait Yeah, I don't know if the dodge rolls are that helpful in these scenarios, I wonder. Okay, how good is your double jumping at this point, Kyle? This is our first test of double jumping. There's no second chance at that one. Oh, there is, though. But yeah, I actually, I don't remember uh, what my conclusion was. Nice, buddy. Oh. Doesn't it seem like we can turn off that fire? Yeah, on our way out. Okay. That mimic broke my combo. You'd be dead, by the way. You simply cannot inhale this much smoke. Maximo's a special guy. Got it, 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 110%. I understand now. We have sucking power. Um, I think I do want to go downstairs, though. Sure. Cool. And we can throw the shield and still get it. Insanely good shit, chat. Insanely good shit. Had a Steam Deck for four months now. It is really cool, but the lack of multiplayer games that I like to play working on it slowed down my time with it. It was great to take in the hotel room, though. Like having a small gaming PC. What do you like uh, multiplayer that Steam can't handle? Steam Deck, excuse me. Like League of Legends? Oh, I should have talked to that woman we rescued. In fact, no regrets. We live a life without regrets. Ah. Thank you. No regrets, baby. Halo Master Chief Collection Anti Cheat 343 is working on it, but it's a long, it's gone. but it's taking way too long. How confusing to me! Uh, gosh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fall off and jump twice. Here we go. Might as well. I said. I said. <laughs> All right, I don't see it. I frankly don't see it. I don't see the path to victory there. <laughs> I think I'm missing something. I think that's the case. I'm missing something. We'll add some other element to this level that will make that jump manageable. 
You alright? Sneezy back there. Oh yeah, we have a power for that. Stupid Kyle. We invested heavily into our ability to just suck those in. Ah. Good. Don't railroad me now. I was railroading you, chat. My bad. All right, looks like this one we have to get legitimately. Okay. Capcom just wanted to make this game. I think that's so sweet. <laughs> they were like, yeah, let's just make it. I don't know. Let's just do it. I think it'd be cool. <laughs> cool. You're right. Thank you, Capcom. I see now. I see now. Ooh, nice ledge grab. I mean, could it really hurt? All right, all right, all right, all right. So we're going to walk off the ledge and double jump this time. Kind of curious they never went back after the two games. I'm assuming this game didn't make a lot of money. This game was not a Halo-sized hit. All right, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to Donkey Kong roll off the ledge. Watch this. Okay. Did not work as expected. We fell very quickly. Hmm. What do you think about that? I'm doubting its technique. I think there's just some other way up there. It can't be technique. I am a perfect jumper. <laughs> Do you think we can get the chandelier to swing the other way? Oh, you mean just jump from here? Yeah, I buy it. I buy it. I buy it. Nice chat. We don't have the key. Some guy somewhere has our key. Okay. All right. Come on, bud. Oh, no. This game's all trick jumps. There's no regular jump in this game. <laughs> Had to wait till it was swinging the other way to pull that move off. There's our key. Of course we'll get it. Of course, of course. Is the ledge grab automatic or do you have to press a button? It's automatic. You hang here automatically. Then you press forward and jump. Uh, to move up from the ledge grab. If there's a railing in the way, you will fall down. So make sure that when you do ledge grab, there's no railing in the way. There we go. Nice helmets. That was worth it. Yo, Maximo. You fight demons in the dark. I do. Help me, my village is under attack. Okay. Oh, death just in time. Leave that poor man alone. Thank you, 
kind sir. Thanks for the key. Cool, 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 cool. Fun, man. I don't know what that shield upgrade does. Yeah, something there, I presume. Infinite shield would be cool. Can we hack that? We should hack that. Maximo's voice actor voiced John Arbuckle in the Garfield show. Mm. You hear it when he says, ah. What's he up to these days? All right, can a regular one do it? Yeah, you don't have to double jump. Hey, I'm playing it safe with you, bozos. Mostly anime and announcer roles. Announcing what? Like dog shows? I think he'd be really good for dog shows. I like that the mimics die in two hits. They're actually not that annoying, you know? That sounds like John Arbuckle. He was the announcer in Mario and Sonic 2020. The Olympics game, yeah. That's a good get. Come on. Oh, no. 78 treasures. Good God. Mastered. Zero secrets. Even though we have the shield that smells them now. Med Ascension. Thanks for being a four-monther. Mushroom Kingdom. Here I come. Best line of the whole movie. All right, is everybody safe now? You all good? Bird? All right. Thank you, kind sir. I shall go to this church. He was the announcer for Jay Leno from 2010 to 2014. Those are some weird years, right? That's the extension. What a strange time to be Jay Leno's announcer. So he did, I, I guess he did, Shoot, I forgot what the name of it was. The 11 p.m. show. The half hour 11 p.m. show. I'm guessing he announced that. And then when Jay Leno took the Tonight Show back, I guess they just kept John Arbuckle. The extension. Jay Leno uh, announced retirement. Conan will be taking over. Years in advance. Basically, uh, I'm going to be retiring in like three years, I think. He announced like three years in advance. This is the year I'm going to be retiring. Conan's going to take over. Um, in three years, Jane Leno's popularity does not wane. It only grows. And he doesn't miss a step. He still has it, baby. So when three years comes, he's like, well, I'm leaving the Tonight Show, but I'm not retiring. I'm going to have a new show, a new talk show that's going to come on a half hour before The Tonight Show hosted by Conan O'Brien. 
And then that show does okay. It started doing better than The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. So NBC says, hey, Conan, we're going to push you back another half hour. Jay Leno gets one hour, and then the late show starts at midnight. And then Conan's like, the, sorry, The Tonight Show starts at midnight. And then Conan says, no, that's against the rules of TV history. The Tonight Show is 1130. If you push me to midnight, I'm out. I'll go to TBS, I swear, I swear. If you push my show to midnight, I'll go to TBS. And then NBC said, okay. So then Jay Leno got The Tonight Show back. Conan went to TBS. And nothing was ever the same. <laughs> And really, nothing was ever good again. <laughs> yeah, what was the name of Jay Leno's half-hour show? It was called The Jay Leno Show, of course. Thank you, Silent Consonant. It was just called The Jay Leno Show. Did I like Craig Ferguson? Yeah, I actually got to go to a taping of Craig Ferguson once. I got to go to two Conans in my life. Uh, one late night Conan, which was great. And then one LA Conan, TBS era, which was just not the same. Something was lost between those five years in between. Even like, even like how you like treated the audience and reacted with the audience and everything. You were Team Coco from the start. You were not willing to budge a half hour. If the Tonight Show started at midnight, you didn't want any part of it. Do I remember the guests? Okay, so New York, Late Night Conan, was Matthew McConaughey. Uh, at the time, his slogan was JK Livin', which meant just keep living. Uh, I don't know if he still says JK Livin', but that was a big thing for him at the time. The second guest was... One of the two Sex in the City actors I could not name, characters I could not name. The one with dark hair. Cannot remember the musical guest. But what I remember most distinctly is that they were trying out edits. Conan had just been to... Was it Norway? There was a Scandinavian country that loves Conan O'Brien. Yeah, Kristen Davis. Yeah, yeah. It was Finland? It was Finland. Okay, so Conan had just been to Finland, and they shot a bunch of packages. And what was cool is, so we watched a regular episode of Conan O'Brien being recorded. Um, God. And so Conan has a theme song at the end of his show, right? Um, And he would sing lyrics to it called the, the End of the Show Song. He'd be like, it's the end of the show song. And it's like, holy shit, Conan's singing to us right now? There's been lyrics to this song this whole time that they just stop, they don't show on TV? It's like, yep, that was so cool. <laughs> but anyway, they were working on bits. They were working on edits. And they're like, yeah, we don't know what's, what's of this Finland stuff is funny or not. And so this is Conan just introducing it to us on mic. Just like, so we're just going to test some of this out. You know, if... This isn't being recorded, so don't laugh if you don't think it's funny. <laughs> and of course, all of the Finland stuff was super, super funny. It was all really good. It's like, oh, this is hilarious. Um, so it was really cool to see them like workshopping their edits, uh, noting when people laugh and, uh, you know, just checking that shit out. And then uh, 
Conan did not sing an end of the show song for us in LA. I don't remember a single guest that was on that show. <laughs> I don't I don't remember. Damn, can't recall. Conan's Travel Tough is pretty good. It was so good, yeah. Do I sing lyrics to Robot Party when you aren't listening? Yeah. Well, Robot Party has lyrics. I went to a workshop thing like that for Seth Meyers. Oh, was that before um, they went live? I know they did a ton of work to like try to get the show figured out format-wise. That's pretty cool. I saw Conan live when he was under contract and could not appear live on TV. Oh, the co those were called a Coco or something like that, right? That's cool, too. Amber Ruffin makes Seth Myers for me. I think Amber's got her own show now on, like, Peacock. She does, in fact. Everyone has a show on Peacock. I got banned from most of them. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't even listen to that dialogue she was trying to tell me. It's cool to have the vacuum shield. That was way worth put, putting our money into. I used to go to Meltdown with Kumail all the time before he was a movie star, but it wasn't the same once it became a taped show. Meltdown Comics was like a cool indie stand-up scene. It's indie comedy scene. I didn't know it became a taped show. Do they still do it? Oh, don't you dare! Cool, Raven Thieves. Yeah, that was cool. I respect that. All right, we're going into the church. Yeah, there's just something about how chunky this PS2 game is. We love it. All right, there's our first uh, jump on it secret. Nice, too. Nice. I don't think so. It all shut down. Chunky pack. This game is 100% chunky pack. The spirit of Chunky Pack is alive. Nice! With a final hit on that other guy. That was so cool, Maximum. Good shit, brother. These mechanical spiders look really nice. Now that we can see them in the light. Shit, there's more behind us. Nice block. Oh, it just blows up. Okay. Damn. Sorry, I got locked in my combo. Love the creak of this robot. It gives him so much life. Cool uh, fight there. Okay, 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 okay. Damn, that took my helmet. Damn. It takes forever to get that shield up. <laughs> I 
forgot about my uh, dodge roll. Good jump. Drink it, drink it. Nice. Ah, Garfield. Just blow up. Don't even hurt him. Don't even hurt him. God, that sucked. Throw your shield, I guess. Be a robot trying to toss his hammers at us. Here they come. You knew it wasn't safe. That was cool. You can flip the spiders upside down by using an up flick and heavy attack. Cool. So that was just a quick little level. Still missed a secret. Nice level, though. The House Crasher. Welcome to The House Crasher. Lead designer on this game went on to work on Darksiders and Monster House. That's so weird. Was this game made in the US? You don't know why you got death spank vibes? It's because he's in his undies. All right, we're probably gonna die here, but I'm cool with our four lives. I'll take a new set of armor, you know what I mean? Over uh, just resetting the save state every time we take damage. Hell house. All right, so the dodge roll actually seems nice here. Okay, <laughs> all righty. Oh, it's gotta be the head. late on that one. Maximo, please! Oh my god. Bro. Welcome to phase two. You were having hope? Were you having hope that you finished the fight? I was having hope. You caught me having hope. Busted. Hard to advance on this guy. <laughs> okay. He's got a lot of ammo.
Uppercut does a lot of damage, huh? All right, I'm safe staying. We got this fight. We got this. What a cool boss! What a cool boss! That was some mighty fine fighting, young fella. Old timer, do you have any idea where these things are coming from? No one Old timer. But if I were a betting man, I'd say the gear master in the haunted forest is responsible. It looks like I'll be paying this gear master a visit. This game's awesome. The sleepover was hooping and hollering. Yeah, if your friend just took down a boss like that, who wouldn't hoop? Who wouldn't hoop? Good time for a break? Oh, excellent time for a break. All right, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I feel like I would have deserved the Montel if I did not save state. I took a save state right there in our final charge as a sign of no confidence. The creator was David Siller, who was the creator of Crash Bandicoot and Arrow the Acrobat. Then, Monster House. Then what was after that? Darksiders. Different guy. What do you mean different guy? Yeah, I don't know. I, f I actually forgot about Monster House. That was the lead designer. Got you. Um, I actually forgot. We could sneak Monster House in in October too. Um, pretty cool, man. I thought, uh, I always thought of this game as a, uh, Capcom Japan game. Pretty interesting to think that a U.S. studio would slap this thing together. But also, like, uh, I feel like Maximo is not commonly referenced within the reference heavy canon of Capcom. I don't know if they've, I don't even know if he gets to like show up in, um, cross, I forget the name of the, uh, 3DS games, cross zone. I don't think they get to show up in cross zone. U.S. studio collabed with Japanese artists and Capcom. Can I get no ya for be not being able to eat any solid foods after getting my wisdom teeth out yesterday? Yeah, oh yeah. Congrats. No solid foods, baby. Oh yeah. Where's the Monster Hunter Maximo armor? It's just that sword, right? That sword is iconic. The Siller guy was not the creator of Crash. He was the Universal Games producer working with Naughty Dog on it. Naughty Dog still created the character. <laughs> and five people get to say creator of Crash Bandicoot on their resume. Five people get to go to TED Talks and be like, what does it take to create a Crash? Let me tell you. Not a GDC, though. No, no, TED Talks. <laughs> that guy does not get invited to GDC. 
Just got in from the Phillies game. If it hasn't come up yet, can I get an oh yeah for a ninth inning comeback? Definitely not Anthony. Firstly, huge oh yeah for your team. Oh yeah. But also, how sweet to think that the results of a Phillies baseball game would be the talk of chat. <laughs> Just scrolling up, I didn't I didn't see chat talking about the Phillies, but you know, just in case. Yeah, I'm still playing Valkyrie. How okay? How big was the comeback? How many runs? Kyle's mean to baseball. You're right, I am. To real life baseball, I'm very mean. I think I'm close to the end of Valkyrie. I got all the weapons. The big twist is blatant at this point. I think I'm there. I'm, I'm knocking on the door of the end of that game. I think I just a couple more chapters. Did I see this, the Splatoon Pokemon collaboration? I know that the next Splatfest is like, which starter is the best. That's all I know. Sorry, before I go refill my coffee, I want to know um, how many runs the Phillies scored in the ninth inning to uh, win the game. Fill me in. It's funny, the game got hard for a second. There, was, there were some times I was losing, I was dying. And then I started using magic more and then um, there's a very cheesy technique using the Nero arm grab that I uh, abused mercilessly. And I can do all the hard challenges now. Philly's got six in the ninth inning. No way. They were down two, scored six. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So there was still a bottom of the ninth that where they had to defend. Concept for Maximo was a combination of the Ghouls and Ghosts franchise and the art of Susumu Matsushita, who did a lot of Famitsu covers. And that dumb fox, probably? Yeah, that dumb fox. I, uh, I've never liked this dumb fox. But you can see a lot of that in Maximo, can't you? Uh, I guess it would be the eyebrows. I guess it, there's just a certain smugness about this fox. Look at him right here. Doing a little Mickey Mouse lean. You think you get to wear early 90s Mickey Mouse clothes and pull it off like he does? It's the eyes. It's the eyes. still an iconic style as much as I do not have a taste for it we all know that's Susumu you think baseball might have the best playoffs I really dig football. I really dig, and this counts as, you know, soccer football, too. I, I like uh, one game. You got one game. This is the one. Win this or lose this. Not a series of seven. Hasn't Kyle said he was an Eagle Scout? No. No, 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 no. I was a Life Scout. One level beneath Eagle Scout. Do not miss your chance. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why didn't I go for Eagle? I quit. Quit Boy Scouts. I, like, suddenly woke up to... 
how lame it was as an organization. <laughs> I loved it. I was so dedicated. I was an early life scout. I was I was early. Um, it was around the time I'm guessing this is my junior year of high school. It was around that time Boy Scouts took a stand against having gay scoutmasters. And then SNL started making fun of them. And it was over. It was over for me. It's like, I'm good. I don't need Eagle Scout on my resume. Fine without it. I'll get into college. <laughs> you know, I'll, get, I'll get into college with something else going for me. I'll figure it out. I had four friends who made Eagle Scout. Wow. Yeah, I also, I also got a little, like, honestly, like, disillusioned by some of the Eagle Scouts ahead of me. And it's like, oh, it's that, it's that easy to be an Eagle Scout, huh? Okay. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. I'm out. I'm good. Eagle here. Yeah, I hated my last stretch, but I figured why not finish. What was your project? You, so to be an Eagle Scout, it's not just about getting uh, merit badges. To get finally get to an Eagle Scout, you have to do like a community service project. You have to like make an impact on your community. Some people have really phoned that in. Hey Kyle, I was just trying to go back to the beginning of this stream VOD, but the VOD isn't there. How come, brother? No saying. It might just be a timing thing, but uh, it's not like I haven't turned off or anything. Did I have a project in mind? No, I don't think I got that far. One of my friend's projects was building a bench at the church, except it was their dad the whole time I watched. P9, 100%. 100% that's exactly what I'm talking about. Dad, build me a bench so I can be an Eagle Scout. Like, okay. All right, son. <laughs> you want to learn how to pour cement? No. <laughs> I built a big addition to a local playground. Yeah, Sam J. I think that's cool. I think that's legit. That's like what the, that's what Eagle Scouts is designed for. That's, that's legit cool. You made your community and kids in your community happy. That was worth it. What was the coolest thing you did in the scouts? There's this thing called Order of the Arrow. It's like a little bit of appropriation now that I think back to it. But to get into the Order of the Arrow, you have to be like a noble Boy Scout. And um, you have to be like nominated, but then you have to do like a weekend challenge. Part of it is fasting and then part of it is not talking at all for the two, the whole weekend. Which was obviously an easy task for me. Some of the other Order of the Arrow boys... Given a minute, without an adult around, they'd be like, hey, this is crazy, huh? And I would just not respond. <laughs> oh, Momo, 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 thanks for being 25-monther. Maximo, this is the first PS2 game I ever saw. Blew my mind at the time. Honestly, I mean, we're playing it in, you know, triple the resolution. Um, it holds up visually. Too big, too big, too big.
All right, learning about the Order of the Arrow here. For over 100 years, the Order of the Arrow has, re has recognized scouts and scouters. What's a scouter? Who best exemplify the scout oath and law in their daily lives. This recognition provides encouragement for others to live these ideals as well. Arrow men are known for maintaining camping traditions and spirit, promoting year-round and long-term resident camping, and providing cheerful service to others. OA service activities, adventures, and training for youth and adults are models of quality leadership development and programming that enrich and help to extend scouting to America's youth. <laughs> so there was a time where I was 100% bought in to all of that language. Yeah, I want to see these I want to see these requirements. The induction process. You must have experienced 15 nights of scout camping. <laughs> okay. All right. You got to have one long-term kit camp consisting of at least 5 consecutive nights of overnight camping. Five nights of camping? I did not do this. I did not. They never had me for five nights. Unless, like, summer camp counts. It probably does. Okay, 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 okay. I bet they're counting summer camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bending the rules of the arrow. Scout must be under the age of 21. Good God, do they get older than that? The induction ceremony called the ordeal. I forgot it was called the ordeal. During the experience, candidates must maintain silence, receive small amounts of food, work on camp improvement projects, and sleep apart from other campers. <laughs> no problem, bro. <laughs> The entire experience is designed to teach significant values. All candidates for membership must complete the ordeal. Forced fasting. Yeah, I called it fasting, but yeah, you know what? I think you got snacks. You received small amounts of food. After six months of service as an ordeal member and fulfilling certain requirements, a member may take part in the Brotherhood Ceremony which places further emphasis on the ideals of scouting and order. Mm -hmm. I, w I did not receive the vigil honor. But uh, the cool thing about being in the order of the arrow is that you got a sash. You got a white sash with a red arrow on it that you wore over your uniform. And it's like, did you do the ordeal? No, I don't think so. Tenderfoot. <laughs> it is very culty. Yeah, I hear you there. Yeah, this is wild, man. It's wild they still do all of this. How do you how do you tell how do you tell how do you tell a twelve or thirteen year old child today? Do this shit. Believe in this shit. How do you tell them? They, we gotta... You gotta... Tear it down, brother. Tear it down build it up. You got a sash here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. That's the special sash. IRL video game progression. It's part of like 
So I had a friend, it was just me and him, the only two people in our age in Boy Scouts. Everyone else had left. We were competitive about earning badges. He was like my number one video game friend too. Uh, we were really competitive about getting those badges, about getting our tote and chips. Chits. Tote and chit. And then once he dropped out, he's like, man, I got too much sports. Sorry, can't do Boy Scouts this year. I definitely slowed down. Having a rival is important. Yeah, chat, I don't count this as a collaboration. Oh, they, they do. The word collaboration is right there. It's not a collaboration until Splatoon appears in Pokemon. I need that to go both ways. Who is my streaming rival? I don't think I have a streaming rival. I don't think I have a YouTube rival. You know, I, I think I think that I don't have that sort of competitive motivation when it comes to these two things. I haven't seen a Huber solo stream in a minute. Yeah, I guess Yerma. <laughs> Trying to reach Yerma's heights. Tim Rogers is my rival. Tim Rogers is a couple of tiers above myself. You gotta pick someone. You gotta pick someone close to your level to be your rival. You know. I do pick your stream over Tim's on Friday. Oh, I didn't realize he he streams on Fridays. On Twitch, Tim Rogers has a Twitch channel. He competes with no one but himself. That's so true, though. <laughs> that's really that's definitely true. It's a rivalry. Action button show. Twitch.tv slash action button show. Um, let's take a quick break. Let's refill our coffees. Stretch it out. Um... And then we'll be right back. We'll keep playing uh, Maximo. Now, actually, so I have a question that I'm going to be thinking about. Is about the per level percentage completions on these levels. I'm having a good time with our 60s to 90s. I'm fine with this. Is there going to be a point in the game where it's like, you should go back and complete that level? Or is it just kind of fine to progress as we are? No, M. Bun, just to be clear, I, uh, si I said 60 to 90s, not 60 90s. They only affect unlockable stuff like the gallery. No, 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 chat, stop saying nice. So just to be clear, stop saying nice. So here's what, here's what I said explicitly. If I could type it out, I would use I would use numbers even. 60 space TO space 90 S 60 to 90s. <laughs> no 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 no. Stop saying nice. Stop saying nice. Alright, I'm gonna type it out in chat right now. 60 to 90s. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. 
All right, you bunch of 6090s. Let's take a quick break. See y'all soon. I think we found an epidemic band that I'm like, I probably would listen to. That's nice. The Big Letdown is the name of this group. They got more tracks. We'll keep them, uh, we'll keep them going through breaks. Mucho's good. He body blocked me. He wanted some attention. Man, it's kicking me that um, the final challenge and perhaps the truest challenge of all. The scout will have to sleep away from other scouts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Werewolf by Night, I'm probably going to try to watch it tonight, right? It's not too long. Oh, we're still just in our undies, bro. Once more, it's probably worth it to just die just to get a full set of armor. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna save state actually. Ooh, this is good shit, dude. Ow! No, you don't. Yeah, that feels awesome. Crazy after a boss fight like that. They wouldn't just shield you back up. No, come on, bro. That's not the way we die. It's not like that. No, here's the nice thing about being in this chat is that you don't have to pass an ordeal. There is no order of the arrow. What a cool tree, dude. Good oh my God. What a cool tree, dude. You can just watch these streams. Damn it. No ordeal. 
We got a chat away from chat. I mean, the Discord's the chat away from chat. And I guess that ordeal is like coping with memes. Oops. Everybody's pretty mean in the uh, fantasy football thread. Looking at the Gundams is kind of an ordeal. You see just a bunch of shit, you're like, I should buy that. Oh, hey, if you missed Monday's stream, we're doing an unfortunate Gundam contest. Um, we're having a contest to build the most unfortunate possible Gundam kit. Whatever that means to you. Whatever that means to the voters. Thank you, kind sir. I am entering. I did buy my Gundam. Can I get a woo for my first wedding anniversary? Now I need to run before she sees me sneaking a peek in the stream. Yeah. Low key woo, okay? This is just between us. Woo! Uh, yeah, I think it, w it was like early December is when we're like uh, announcing the winner, right? So, um, there's still time to order stuff. So yeah, we'll see. What I got tricked. I got snookered. I I got I got I was a mark. Um It was a cheap Gundam. It was a twenty dollar Gundam. December third, thanks. Um Oh that's why that date was important. Anyway, um <laughs> That's need for speed day. Uh nice cheap little twenty dollar Gundam. But then the website was like, Well, if you buy these clippers, shipping is free. And I'm like, well, I could buy some new clippers. That's nice. And free shipping. The clippers are $40. So it ended up being a $60 expense. But I'm going to have some nice new clippers. Um, the submission can feature multiple Gunplas, but it should be clear in the image which one is the unfortunate Gundam. Don't send five unfortunate Gundams. Because what do we vote for? Sucked in. I got sucked in. How much was shipping? Oh, it was free. It was free. It was free because I got the clippers. It was probably USA Gundam. I think that's right. I think that was the site. They're like, these are the official clippers of this website. Your unfortunate state is highlighted by my fortunate state. I know, Jimothy. <laughs> I know. Is it Gundam only, or can we have an unfortunate diorama? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put whatever you want in that diorama. Um, yeah, absolutely. How much would the shipping have cost? I think it was going to be like $12. So I turned a $32 expense into a $60 expense so that I could save on not having to pay for shipping. You must have you must use a Gundam model as a base, correct? And this is just like Gundam branding, right? Zaku's are permitted, but we had to draw I had to draw a line somewhere. So yeah, it's like Gundam, you know, licensing stuff. And the new rule we just added is that it ha you have to use it as the base, right? 16% of the Gundam model must be used in your unfortunate Gundam. No less than 16%. I will be counting. No, no, no. You can, I mean, it could be 100%. It could be 100%. You could go buy a Gundam, say, this looks unfortunate. You could put it together, take a photo, and send that and submit that into the contest. You could, it could be 100%. 
You don't need a diorama. You could just put it on your table. There it is. I think I nailed it, you know? You can 100% do that. Guardian Ramsey, thanks for being a 24 monther. Congrats on the two years. I smell controversy brewing. There's no, like, yeah, there's no cash prize. The winner will be shredded in the shredding ceremony. Printed out on a nice piece of paper and then shredded. My wife is lost in that bog. Okay. One of my favorite things to do in video games. You're just talking about like, you know, the fantasy, the power fantasy. Rescuing the wives of normal husbands. I just get really into that role play, you know? This man cannot protect his wife, but I can. <laughs> That's what gaming's all about. <laughs> Kyle's snatching up all the bog wives. Um, I wonder what the best strategy for those things is. Roll to comfort normal man's wife. <laughs> Min-maxing my character. I've min-maxed my character to... Rescue the wives of normal husbands. Not true. Your fantasy is vacuuming the wives. That's a different thing. I think it was implied she was single. If we're talking about the mom from Skyward Sword. We were just helping a single mom keep her house clean. That's a whole other fantasy. Nice. I suddenly fear this is the correct way to go. No, you're right. Cool. Oh, come on. Little too chunky. What other games do you rescue other people's wives in? <laughs> it happens a lot in Marvel's Avengers. <laughs> if you're picking up on the subtext, that's, that's what most of the missions are about. This is unrelated to my addiction for the game. All right, so that was the correct way to go. No, 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 it doesn't make sense. I just, I'm saying it's unrelated. I would love that game even if it isn't about rescuing the wives of normal husbands. Wow, I wonder if we could have skipped that whole thing. No, it doesn't drop till you, you right, right, right. Okay, okay. All right, so it was the correct way to go, but there was no secret otherwise. Unless my shield is lying to me. Yeah, damn. 
We'll be back. We'll be back with the key. No, there's no way back. Okay, so truly, to all of our secret lovers in chat, how do we miss a key in this small area? This small chunky area. No. <laughs> ah! Did you see uh, Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher is releasing in US October 20th? P9. Type in exclamation point calendar into chat. Or dock it. True. The shield is not the tracker. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. How do we miss a key? Uh, I th so I think we're streaming it a day later, though, because I want to give priority to uh, Arkham family. Arkham Knights. We are. Okay, so Arkham Knights is 21st. 22nd will be Kaiju. Yeah, I think that game looks cool. I You did not sell me on the other Monster Rancher games, but Monster Rancher Kaiju, suddenly. Ah, man. You needed 100% in Pac-Man for this key. It feels like it, man. Uh, I'll do one more lap through this cave. But, I mean, we've been through this cave. So, yeah, I think... Th that guy could give you a key when you return his wife. But uh, it seems like we're about to hop out of a log that does not have a way back in. So maybe that's just like a comeback again later. Most often, to get a key for the treasure type of treasure chest I'm trying to open, um, you get it from an NPC you just saved. They're like, thank you, here's a key. You could use this for a treasure chest. Good grab, buddy. Thank you. Easy! No! Oh my gosh. It could be in a buried chest. Oh. So this is the way that pros play the game, huh? I don't know if I have the patience for it. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is, speaking of Avengers, 100% exactly how I play the Avengers. All right. Get up there. There we go. I think I'm like not supposed to hold forward or something there. Mm-hmm. Perfect. No, I'm convinced chat's right on this one, that there was a chest somewhere that if you jumped on the spot, it would have popped open and given you the key. We're going to buy that treasure sensor. I hope we have enough money for it. We don't have to be too concerned about stuff like that. Uh, the treasure chests don't contain like permanent upgrades or anything in them, you know what I mean? The treasures are nice, but not essential. That was rude, that was so rude, game. Do it. I really like the enemies have battle damage. Obviously the one they make most clear is um, knocking the tops of their heads off. Sorry about hitting you three times. Thank you. If only I could find my husband. I did find this key. Maybe it opened something good? Hey, hey! Okay, we do go back. 
Thank you. The Gear Master? Sorry, never heard of him. Live the fantasy chat. So should we tell her husband we found her? We should. That's part of the fantasy too. <laughs> All right, we got some money out of it. Here we go. Oop, up we go. There you go. You foolish Kyle. No, it's fine, I can do this. No, you can't. All right, but we can climb the log. It's like, okay, okay. Hey, we found your Thank wife. You. He doesn't care. While we're here. No, I can't play it like this. I can't do it. Not until we have the secret finder. For four coins. <laughs> might have been five. Might have been five. Hey, your husband's up that log. Thank you. All right. So it's crazy to think that there is those uh, there are hop chests. Shield up. I should have shielded up. Got it. No, I think it's the left to right challenge. I think you're right about that, too. And we got a merchant. Nice. Payday, baby. Okay, uh, what is this money dress? Treasure seeker boxers. Detect hidden treasure chests when wearing these magic shorts. And they're not temporary? These are permanent upgrades? Bog marriage is a solved game. <laughs> I think I should buy these. I don't see a reason not to buy these. You can only equip one at a time. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, I think we are treasure seekers more than we are armorers, which sucks. That is nice to get a whole extra chunk of armor, but I think that's just not us. That's just not who we are. I think we're secret lovers. Can I get no-no? Since the first game I added to my cart on the retro site I'm shopping at already has sold out while I've been flipping through other games to buy. Oh. Yeah. No, no, no. Most sites will most sites if it's in your cart, they'll like keep it for you. Somebody sniped you. Treasure has better synergy with your save state powers. Thank you. you know what? You sold me. Most sites don't do that. Gotcha. Most sites will not keep it. Good shit, chat.
That sucks, though, because when you're looking at retro games, you're like, there's no rush on this. Obviously. No one else is trying to buy this game right now. Okay, brother. That's a life. Okay, okay, that's how we learn. No, 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 no. Ooh, lucky this time, though. We'll take the trade. The thing for PS2. Gosh, I remember... Uh... A friend of mine was playing that because magazines were really psyched about it at the time. I think we streamed it with easy allies? Maybe with game trailers. Yeah, I think that's a game trailer stream. It's a unique game still. All right, this hammer is obviously a temporary upgrade, right? They're not gonna let us keep this. Ooh, the damage comes out fast with that move, but it leaves you vulnerable. Sword you can switch between. Very cool. See how fast the damage came out? It actually interrupted his animation. Oh, no, 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 no. You're fine. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's get this key now. We're not gonna mess this jump up. We are confident in our jumping abilities. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Do we take this path? We've never had so many options of where to go in this game. Okay, so we are confident in our jumping abilities, but you know, we're, we're confident. That's why we do that. There we go. To a point, we're confident to a point. There we go, there we go. Okay, cool. I remember the jumping being brutal. I think I had a lot of jump deaths in Maximo 1. Okay, but I do think uh, it's not worth it to keep this hammer. I think it's uh, too slow. No, 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 not this, not this. There we go. Weapon change L2, okay. There we go. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and, you know, just in case. No, leave him alone. Leave him alone. There we go. You're safe now. Uh, no thanks. Damn, can't afford it. 
All right, so I assume that shield upgrades work the same. If I were to buy Mighty Throw, it would turn off our current vacuum, and there's no way we're turning off the vacuum. Is it weird to read two books concurrently, or is it just like following two different TV shows? It is. I feel like uh, the books have to be different. If it's like two sprawling fantasy epics, you're going to get confused. This seems worth it. What do you think about this, chat? What do you think about the whirling blades? Oh, okay. Also one sword upgrade. It would be whirling blades or mighty blow. I mean, I like mighty blow. It's much cheaper than whirling blades, which makes me think that the whirlers are better. The pants don't replace each other. You can switch between them in the menu. Got it. So like a boss fight's coming up. Yeah, I feel like I think we get these whirling blades. I read five serialized novels when they come out each week. Does that count? What kind of novels come out every week? Who's who could have possibly? What are you talking about? You talk about some giga Stephen Stephen King who's like capable of writing a novel every week? I don't understand. They release a chapter each week. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. No, that's fine. It's how Dickens did it. All right. Is this like Dracula Daily? Whoa. Um. Uh, okay. So I think I think I'm doing the Whirling Blades. I think I'm doing the Whirling Blades. I think I'm 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 buying this with low confidence, but uh I think we can take a chance. Thank you, boy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, boy. No, thank you. Thank you. That's gonna kill a boss someday. Our uh, treasure undies have not spotted a treasure yet. Okay, so it seems like to get that key, I'd probably have to do some of these shenanigans, correct? You feeling the same vibes? Yeah, look at the way that platform moves. I can't get over there now, dude. Okay. All right. Let it be. I don't know what uh, equip menu you're talking about. There it is. Yep. They're equipped. Cool, dude. Wow. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Good looking menu. Encouraging. Yeah, there's no way you should have the hammer equipped. Does not suit my play style. Okay.
Oh yeah, that's a good move. Doesn't use meter or anything. It's just hard for me to pull off consistently, as you can see. Um, Chad, how's the Street Fighter 6 beta? Blue Vision, thanks for being in 21 Monther. I was watching Max play a little bit after uh, posting the video last night. But, uh, you know, when I say last night, I'm talking about 6 a.m. or whatever. So I was, like, watching it, but, like, not perceiving it. Leave her alone. Oh, they killed her. Shit. I feel too bad. We gotta go back and rescue that woman. We have the power. I'll be more careful this time. She could be somebody's wife, you know? Do you get to try the whole roster? There are eight characters right now, which is a lot. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Ryu, Ken, Jamie, Jury, Guile, Kimberly, Chun Li, and Luke. But who cares? Lots of people care about Luke. Come on. Yeah, I saw some created characters. I don't like any of them. <laughs> I'm, chat, I'm not going to want to see your created characters. When I'm playing Street Fighter VI, I'm skipping that shit. I'm not going to the hub. I will not select that from my menu. Yeah, those always blow up. Got a shield up. Is it a certain amount of fairies gives you a free life? Nice. I'm sorry, wrong button. No, it was the right button. It was the right button. The button to talk to people is attack. I don't know why that happened. On the floating trail of coins. All right. Flick up heavy attack. What does that mean, flick up? Forward. Oh, it's not just forward, because that's forward. It is, no. It's like a smash attack. Um, and you're saying that would kill the explosive spiders? It flips them over. Yeah, but I mean, right now I don't have any way to kill them other than just letting them die. When I kill them, they hurt me. Birds. Good job, Maximo. It will flip spiders and kill them without exploding. Okay, all right, 
take your word for it. Try it on this half of the school. Cool. That's a cool move. You press them both at the same time. It's a little like a smash attack. They know what they're doing with those ledges. They know. They know. The whole time they know. That's precision. Precisely annoying. Okay. You would think you would go from the peak. Yeah, you go from the peak, but to like, you gotta go a little diagonally. Do I know if Strat likes chunky PS2 games? I wonder. Do we think people in their early 20s like chunky PS2 games? I feel like they've got like too much Minecraft nostalgia. You got me. Okay, nice. And then there's that moving platform we saw. That's not the moving platform we saw. Little late. Ooh, what a grab. It's a really cool animation, really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, dude, this is nasty. Oh, I see, this is an optional treasure path. You don't have to do this. But if you're emulating, why not? Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. Too much on that one. Too much on that one. A single jump will do it. Really? It's so deep down. Exactly, exactly, exactly. A single jump will do it. Maximo! Oh. Nice, buddy. Okay. I mean... Why not? Right now, the GameCube time frame is the big thing in retro games, so I bet PS2 is popular too, but the Wii time frame is picking up. Mm. Interesting. Wii nostalgia. Bunch of elder zoomers suddenly making some money. All right, this is the platform we saw long ago. Yep, yeah, what a weird uh, loop. We've bought things from that merchant. Ow! What a grab. Okay, come on, bro. Mid combo. He grabbed me mid combo, burnt my helmet off. Be gone. <laughs> no. Nice birdie, nice birdie. Cool. 
into the well we go, right? Let's do it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, nice. Yes. Secrets, but I had the undies. Damn. No, that's true. I feel like even when this game this game came out, Maximo 2, I feel like it felt limited. It appeared to be a simple game. You know? I think that's why I ignored it at the time. Alright, they might constantly spawn, huh? No way. It would break the economy. You're right. I think that's it. I'm saying even when this game came out, it kind of looked like a chunky PS2 platformer. What do you think about these platforms to our left? What do you think about those? I'm tempted. You tempted me. Nice. Would I ever play Oni? Yeah, I'm pretty interested in Oni. I feel like Oni's reputation has only gotten better through the years. When it came out, I think it was like, kind of regarded as like, a failure and an embarrassment for Bungie. But today it's like, wow, this game's got a lot of cool ideas. Had a similar amount of dated chunk on release. Yeah. No, 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 no. Did he kill her? She's alive. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hmm. Offer myself to the heavenly host, she says. All right, undies, do your thing. Oh. Okay, so unfortunately for you at home, the magical underwear has no visual indication that a secret is near, but it does rumble. Screaking Argonaut says, that's some nice underwear. There's the heavenly host. 3851. That's not your typical Screaming Argonaut joke. <laughs> 
Does auto mod mod the mods? I think so. What's your typical kind of joke? I don't know. I got. What would. I, it's not about rumbling undies. That's all I know. <laughs> Dragging Avengers, sure. Yeah. Oh, for the goddess's sake, that angel statue is the key to your escape. I th oh, yeah, I got the key. No, no, no. You know what? I think she said, oh, for goddess's sake, because she's frustrated we didn't get it. She's like, you're coming back to me for another hint? Sorry, I want to see if my undies rumble in here. All right, we're good. We're good. You're not in the Discord enough. It's true. I feel like there's some channels like I'm simply not hip on. And I come to those channels like there's a thousand messages in here. There could be a lot of rumbling undies chatter in there. Yeah, we had we had undie rumble right there. Nice. Save it for Easy Allies Discord. Is there more chat about rumbling undies on the Easy Allies Discord than the Robot Party Discord? That guy's got my number, dude. Cool, look at his mask. Reminds me of uh, the bad guy from Metal Gear Solid 5. Can't remember his name. A whole channel called Rumbling Undies Club. Okay. That game has a bad guy? That game has several bad guys. Oh, pros only, por favor. Okay, 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 okay. Let's prove to ourselves that we are pros now. That counts. That counts. That counts as professional. Point taken. Well done, well done, well done. You distracted me with gold. Well played. Can I get a link for that club for a friend? Yeah, so the Easy Allies Discord is exclusive to patrons of Easy Allies. Is Maximo meant to be Roman? I think these are fictional countries. So you can just do whatever you want. But I mean, look at that helmet. Ooh, this is cool. We slice through the hedge mage? Oh, come on. No, you can grab me out of block. Of course you can. Rules established long ago.
1992, we learned. Street Fighter 2 came out. How's this game compared to the first Maximo? Um, I don't remember the first one very well. Chat will give you better answers than I can. The double jump is easier to do. You can do a little pop-up. You can do it super late, like that. So that's flexible. That's nice. Am I part of the Discord? I'll check out the, uh... The Clips channel on the Easy Allies Discord. Nice way to keep up with streams and stuff. But no, I don't do any posting. Wasn't there a chest back there? It, you need a key. And there it is. I should vote in the polls. Aren't they mostly silly? The shield has durability in the first one? Oh, that's a huge upgrade in this one. I really don't check most channels. Oh my god. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, you're too fast. You're too fast. You're faster than I am. Maximo, the hero. There we go. Couldn't get my combo on that dog. Hello? Yeah, we gotta stay protecting this man. He might be satisfied now. Looks like a merchant. Can you sell me something? Nice. Greetings. Okie doke. Extra armor not worth it. Allows you to throw your shield more often. Hmm. I don't know. I'm good without any of this stuff. How about you? I think we should buy these shorts. All right. For like a boss fighter, we can equip them for a boss fight. But yeah, most of the time we're gonna want to rumble undies. Thank you, boy. We talked briefly about Need for Speed. I don't Thank think I'll be streaming it. That's a seventy-dollar game. You gotta prove it in your first trailer. We have discussed that it's not anime. It's been settled. Chat agrees. 100% of chat agrees it is not anime. We had a whole poll. 100%. Oh, I don't have a... Shield meter. So... Uh, fortunately, the grab does not work as an anti-air, <laughs> so we can do the jump triangle attack and, uh, evade that guy's nastiest shit. That's nice. Alright, I think if we go left there, they're gonna hop out of that false wall. This level's really cool. This is a perfect Halloween level. Alright, and a new wrinkle to the, the jack-o'-lanterns is that, um... Their heads, uh, explode. After death. Very cool. Might be better to save for attack move upgrades. My money, you mean? Yeah, it wasn't that expensive. But you're right, it probably would have been better. No attacker. Okay. So then this just loops around. I think we're good. I think we're good to progress. Cool. Yeah, this level's fun. I love this. Ow. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave him alone. 
No. Was there this much um, rescuing in Maximo 1? I actually love the rescuing. I feel like pretty strong against these enemies, but I feel like they could just take anyone out in four hits. So you gotta go rescue them quickly. It's fun. Crushing spin! Use your hammer to batter multiple enemies senseless at once. Batter your foes with this multiple hit attack. I'm okay. Thank you, boy. Have I seen Romancelvania? It's a Castlevania game where you date the bosses. No. I've not seen such a thing. I didn't realize we're down to our uh, magical vibrating undies. Speaking of which, they smell something right now. Tell me what you sense, undies. What do you sense? There it is. I don't need that, I need armor. Damn, okay. Here goes not an optimist. coming out of the tree's mouth. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Good burps. Two paths lie before you. The path of the hero? in the path of the normal husband. You must take the hero's path. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. We got a hole and something up here, but I feel like, yeah, cool. Hello? I heard you brandish, bro. You should brandish more softly. Jay's lost four to zero? Dang. And it's wild card, right? So you're just out? Wild card series now, best of three. Okay. Those are evil rabbits. Yeah, they sounded like it too. Damn. Um. The game's. <laughs> it's not, uh. It's not Devil May Cry, right? So I hate that, uh. It's most of the time you kill an enemy, you just have to see the word weak on screen. It's like, I'm not impressed with your combo, gamer. It's like, well, I mean, the game's not about that. Weak. All right, something's up in this room. Okay. We Donkey Konged it. 
Who he? Quickly now, quickly now. Great. Uh, I have an idea. I have a really good idea. It was a good idea. Huddy's Bebop next week in 28 month or go Mariners. Sure. Series of three. I found out recently that the creator of Toomba is still around after their studio closed and worked on the new Ghost and Goblins. Looks like he was heavily involved with that series. That's really cool. Because I think that while I dismissed it immediately based off of its appearance, I think generally that game's pretty well liked. Nice. Cool. And then this will be our treasure chest. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Do not doubt it. Don't, don't even doubt it. That's our checkpoint, so the treasure chest must be up top. I'm lost. Time to, you can start doubting. Okay, so this is our treasure chest. Don't doubt it. Great. Yeah, man. Think about think about being a teenager who has played Metal Gear Solid 2. This isn't going to do it for you anymore, you know? Too cool. Doesn't seem like there's anybody to save. So we're okay there. Uh, my only fear now is that this level ends once you've fought all these monsters. Not giving me the chance to collect all those coins on the rooftops of these carriages. There we go. That's got range on it too, huh? The flip. I love you can change direction mid-combo. That stuff is really cool and essential for dealing with groups. Cool. The level won't end. Nasty shot from through there. That's nasty. We can't see you. Oh. I didn't see that those skeletons gave me um, a helmet. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Whew. Is 
except for the Pope may be in Rome. Nobody call him on the phone. Except for the Pope may be in Rome. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, 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 okay. So next time that happens, I think we should put our metal undies on, grab it, and then switch to our vibrating undies and see what happens. I don't think it's going to let you collect like you think it will. Really starting to regret skipping these games because I hated Ghosts and Goblins. Much more manageable than Ghosts and Goblins. Mastered. Mastered. Oh, baby. The vibrating undies took us there. They took us there. That's our first hundo. Buzz, buzz, baby. Mastered. Mastered. Mm hmm. Sinister stones. I think this game is like nine hours on how long to beat. I'm guessing we're going to pick up and like play like two or three hours of this on Monday. Oop. The vibrating undies are doing their thing. Why would you get that to us? You know, maybe if you finish that last level. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Health carries over. Eleven point five main plus extra. Yeah. I guess that's a good stream and a half. No, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. No, I'm sorry. The key? Thank you. Thanks for the dosh. All right, so we have many paths before us. But do we, though? There we go. So that was the uh, the blue spider was the self-destruct spiders. If you flick triangle, do the flip up, smash in midair. They are not the threat they once were. That's cool. That's a good tip. That's fun. Yeah, man, this game you can play. You can hang out in this game. Ghouls and Ghosts is just, uh... Smothers you. <laughs> Suffocating. Oh, no. We all know what's about to happen here. We've all foreseen it. Oh, hey! Okay. Where does Demon's Crest fall in the difficulty spectrum? Demon's Crest is super hard, too. 
I uh, have tried to play it a couple of times. I think it's on the SNES Classic. And I think I have it on 3DS as well. And I used to have uh, the Game Boy version back on my old Game Boy. Obviously did not make a lot of progress in that. Ow. Oh, it's so much quieter now without those dumb mushrooms. Uh-oh, undies. My undie scents. There we go, dude. That's so nice. We're never taking these undies off. Cool. Is there a way to actually beat these mushrooms without a wasting shield? Do you care to share, have you ever done a post-mortem reflection on the conclusion of the Box Peak project? How do you feel looking back on it? I definitely, we did, we did um, a big Q&A the day of the finale. But if you mean something more like uh, now that you have a lot of hindsight. No, I've answered questions here and there, but oh, okay. But no, I don't think I do, I've done anything like what you're describing. We're going to prioritize this guy because he can grab us. Yeah, we got the perfect counter to his move. Um, it's weird. I feel like it'd be, um... For sure there would be people who would tune in for such a thing. Who would watch it. Um... But no, I feel like Box Speak is too old to have an interesting uh, post-mortem on. Is there any Box Peak reunion? Gosh, when did Box Peak end? When was episode 10? Yeah, you tried to grab me, didn't you? You tried your one move. Oh, you got me with your second move. I got you, old timer. Hey! Mash my helmet. All right, you can stop whimpering. Care to purchase an item? New undies. What are these? Magic POW boxers. Super meter recharges at a faster rate while wearing these stylish shorts. Man, I do not ever turn into the Grim Reaper. I think I'm okay. Thank you, boy. Yeah, I'm really saving my money, dude. Perhaps there'll be something that's like a thousand gold someday. And my penny pinching will be proven wise. Um, alright, I think we just go down there. Yeah, the Patreon updates, those were pretty fun. They're, they're a lot like the Patreon updates I do for delayed input now. All right, so I think we're gonna pick up a new weapon or something and then we're gonna be bombarded. Coming. Out. No, I'm the hero. <laughs> it's all good. Hmm. 
That was Thank it, huh? You. The riddle of the stones and leave this unholy place. Okay. So the stones contain a riddle, you say? Write down those icons. Step one, complete. The riddle of the stones. Oh, okay. No, we get it. It's actually not a riddle, that's the riddle. Ow! Bro! Got me down to my undies. Nice. Paid me back. Alright, so... Oh, shit, we should get down there now. I don't think that was wise. No, I don't like surprise enemies. And they add more spit. Yeah, you know what? I expected to be uh, more frustrated in our playthrough of this game. Considering it's, you know, notoriously hard. But, uh, you know, we've save stated. We've definitely done our fair share of cheating. Oh, bro. But it hasn't been uh, unmanageable. They give us a lot of time for that. Nice. <laughs> Don't even let him. Don't even let him. He just wants to grab you. We don't have that key yet. Shoot, the key's gonna be, you know, yep, you know. The things we do for treasure. Owie! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We got the key. Rude puzzle. They called it a riddle. It was a rude riddle. Amanda is very patient and generous. What did I miss? seen the cover of this game about a hundred times but never played it. Looks like good Halloween material. It has been so far. We had a really good uh, corn maze level. I guess we're kind of still in that environment. Here we go, buddy. And what's kind of crazy and, un and unusual about that one is that that treasure chest that required a key was actually uh, underground. It was actually a secret one. So I think that's the first time that's happened to us. We started off discussing her bringing you food to the last Q&A. Chicken tenders.
<laughs> Sticking back to, um... A simple time when I'm just production assistant at game trailers. And... I'm new to fantasy football. My first ever seasons of fantasy football. And for some reason, just this jolt of a memory of being at McDonald's, eating what they call the Mighty Wings. Chicken wings that are just like fried, McDonald's style. Oh, that pirate steals money. And looking up fantasy advice on my phone. We killed that ghost before it could rematerialize. Thank you. Remember Mighty Wings? Yeah, those were good. Thanks for the key. Looking up Arian Foster stats. <laughs> Yeah, reading, like, the love-hate articles from Matt Barry. <laughs> Thinking, oh, this guy's good. <laughs> wow, this guy can write. I have the key for that chest. We have to wonder to ourselves if we loop or You loop around. You don't even have to wonder, bro. Okay. Okay. Don't even wonder. Beep, bop, beat up. No, not Matt Berry, the actor. One's like... One's like... He established himself early as the fantasy guy. The talented Mr. Roto. And he's still coasting off that gas. NBC hired him this season. Do I listen to any, any fantasy football podcasts? I listen to one. Um, I'm the only one in your league who does it? In your friend league. Uh, yeah, the Fantasy Footballers podcast is highly recommended it is three people who live in arizona who uh are good friends but also uh very passionate about fantasy football they um they're funny they know how to host a good uh podcast holy shit do you know what i just realized is that the smoke on the explosive spiders has uh numbers that one had a three in smoke. They actually have a countdown. Um, <laughs> I just highly recommend it. Good podcast. They put out a new episode every day of the week. Except Saturday and Sunday. Every weekday. How long is each episode? About an hour. I think the, the ones on like Friday and Thursday are a little longer. Yeah, imagine producing that.
they have a pretty big Patreon. Um, they were on Twitch last night, actually. I wanted to see how well they were doing, and they were, like, easily skidding past 10K in the pre-show of uh, Thursday Night Football. So imagine just uh, saying, yeah, we'll try Twitch, and, like, getting 12K on your first stream. <laughs> You're like, cool. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll come rescue you. I got you, I got you. I like that Don Quixote guy actually uses his spear. My bad. Annoying. Hi, Finn. Did I say thanks for being a nine monther? I saw that game last night. Tuned in after everyone on Twitter was talking shit. Thank you. Oh, the actual football game. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what their viewership was actually during the game. Once it turned out to be kind of a dog's mouth. You have now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Better than G4. Well, the thing is, like, uh, if they were just like, hey, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna stream Mario Sunshine today, they probably wouldn't be getting 12k. You know what I mean? Like, also, it is, like, event-based. People tuned in because the fantasy footballers are live streaming during Thursday Night Football. That's awesome. It was really funny watching them and watching the game because the, the game was putrid. Oh, so you were watching. They were great on Twitch, says Maddie C. Cool. Care to purchase an item? Yeah, I hope they feel uh, encouraged to uh, do more. All right, so, uh, I'm saving our money. I'm saving it up. You know what? This guy looks exactly like that dumb Famitsu Fox. He does. He does. We see it in your eyes, brother. The eyes tell all. Thank you, boy. We can tell. Nice. Okay, I th actually think that if you broke those barrels first, you would not have access to that key. That's the first truly rude secret this game has had so far. That was truly rude. Hmm. Alright, and then I felt a little undie rumble over here. Nice. Okay. Progress, baby. Am I aware of the Cardinals collapse today? Six runs at the top of the ninth inning. Yeah, uh because we had a somebody there, a Phillies fan. Was that the game? doing victory laps in chat hey when your team wins like that chat you are you are permitted to arrive and do some laps encouraged even all right so the spin was awesome there 
Once again, my, my greatest issue with the spin is just pulling it off consistently. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all know. We all know. Let's just buckle our seatbelts here. <laughs> just in case. What if it happens to the Cowboys? Oh, especially, especially, especially. All right, this should have a key. No key? No key, okay. Oh, you got a key on you still, right? No. Oh, dang. Okay, we'll get that key. We'll get that key. I think we just saw it, right? Yep. Okay, so we're going down, down. We're going down to go up. Ow. Hey! <laughs> oh, I broke my helmet. I should just avoid them. I should just avoid them. What am I thinking? It's not worth it. You're not worth the one coin you give. There's our key. Now, that coin is there to suggest, come on, buddy, try me. You can make this jump. I object. Try me, baby. You can! Thank you, coin. Thank you for giving me the courage, coin. Did he do a DK roll? So the funny- Oh my god! So the funny thing is, you can't actually- If you do a roll off a ledge, you just drop. But, you can drop off a ledge and get your two jumps still. Which is what we did there. That was rough. Do I have notes for tomorrow's One Piece discussion? Uh, probably not notes, but I'll probably have a rundown. Because I do want to keep it to one hour. I promised one hour. So let's say you don't want to be spoiled on One Piece. You can have confidence that when you arrive one hour into the stream, we'll be wrapping up. And you can start listening soon, you know? I don't want to go over time because, like, that's annoying to the people who just want to see the Game Boy Advance game. Cool. Ow. Damn. Done yet. Hey! Garfield! Shut up! <laughs> I'm not talking to you, Mucho. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to do the flick. Uh-uh. I wasn't talking to you. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> He's clawing my shoulder. Oh, they're getting nasty now. Okay, 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 okay. I was not talking to you. You're being nasty. Guess who tried to dodge roll there? Yeah. Okay. All right, what's going on?
He just woke up in a needy mood. <laughs> I guess it is break time. It is break time. It is break time. Let's uh let's finish this level. <laughs> he woke up needing something. Um We've already passed the treasure chest that this is for, haven't we? No, it's for that one up there. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, so actually, I bet this puzzle will take a second. We'll take a break right here. We'll take a break right there. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give some attention to Mucho, whose claws are deep into my thigh right now. Uh, Boomadang. Thanks for being a 22-monther. I, the, it's so funny, the thing that activated him was me yelling at Garfield. Welcome right up. Okay, uh, so we'll take a quick break, refill our coffee, stretch it out, give attention to our cats, and then um, we'll finish this level. This game is fun so far. I uh, I do wish for more meaningful weapon upgrades. I wonder if we have to progress further or if we've kind of seen the best of it. But yeah, I would love I would love a little twist popping up soon. Like, oh, you have this new ability or like you can transform into someone other than death or something like that. Um, we'll see. So far, good. So far, good. But I don't think that anybody's jaws are dropping, you know? All right. See y'all soon, chat. I realized this sounded like drawers. I did. I did.
He cut me off. What, did you want a head bump? I saw you lurch forward. All right. We're scooting forward. Don't be alarmed. There you go. <laughs> Good job, buddy. This is coffee. It's funny, man. He just, he really just wants attention. He wants extended attention. He could tell when I was pouring my coffee, I was about to head back in here, right? So he's like, okay, I'm going to cut him off. I'm going to get on his chair before he does. <laughs> CK Warrior of Light, thanks for being 20th foot a month there. Been decent hoodie weather in Raleigh recently. It has been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely has been. I love hoodie weather. I was able to take a walk without sweating. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a whole walk without, without sweat? Got to clean up his eye goobs sometimes. It's Black Cat Appreciation Month. Um, I actually thought... um. There was like a, you couldn't adopt a black cat in October because people do it for the gimmick for Halloween. And then they return the cats in November. Because they're like, hey, my black cat is like, it sits on my chair. <laughs> I got to take this back. He's hogging my armrest. I got to take him back. Like rabbits during Easter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's still the case. They also don't get adopted as much. Yeah. Like, why not? I guess, yeah, I guess if they get returned in November, that's a lot to deal with. But yeah, I feel like, you know, let, pe let people adopt a black cat in October. All right, that was our mucho time. That was our guest appearance today. He got what he wanted. Rest of the year, they don't adopt them at all because they're not great for Instagram. He's great for Instagram. Mucho, you would kill on Instagram. You would kill. He's, um... He went over to check out the destruction of that uh, tall geese down there. He's like, Kyle, you really messed this one up. You know that? Like, I know. I know. I'll fix it. Nice. Okay. Let's solve this riddle. My undies are vibrating again. Nice. Okay, so I think um we go back where we were. We do not. That's that's our time limit right there. Okay, okay, okay. Copy that. Uh, chat. To be if you're just joining us. These are our treasure-seeking boxers, which vibrate when we are close to treasure. Stop saying nice. Yeah. 
No, I misread this. I misread this. That that path is strictly for that one treasure. So how would I utilize that stone? I think we go from there to there. No, I do. Okay. Sure enough. Nuri too fast. It's been a 14 month or to say nice. All right. Very. That's what's nice, Chad. That's what nice looks like. And then how would we get to that one? This is going to require some coordination, man. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hello? Undetingle, there we go, dude. Ah. Did I hear about the chess master who got caught cheating using rubbling undies? Uh, yeah, my friends were talking about this during Fortnite this week. Uh, and I was like, no joke, it's not a South Park thing, this is a real thing. And they're like, yeah. A butt plug that rumbles when you're making the right play. Um, so I had to look it up. And there's, like, there's no... Butt plug. Unfortunately. The person did cheat. Absolutely, it does seem that that guy cheated at chess. And nobody knows how, but... It's unlikely it was a little vibrating butt plug. That part was just like a funny joke that people kept spreading. <laughs> Which I think is, I feel like that's happened to us. You know what I mean? Where it's like, we all buy into the bit, right? And we just keep the bit going for so long that some people walk in and it's like, oh, that must be the truth. It's happened to us. Prove it wasn't. That's the thing is nobody still knows what his method was. All right, so here's the thing. My way up this rock feels sloppy. It feels unintended. We can get up there, but it doesn't feel like the right way to do it, right? It's how we get to that thing to knock one of the three down. This doesn't lead to anything else up here. There was a treasure right where I stand. So it seems like this is to... This whole path is really just to get over there, set that one up. So we got two tombstones arising. Our final tombstone switch is up there um and then of course we have this cliff right there how about cheating by putting lead weights and fish that was real that was real Most recent thing was chess.com coming out and saying that they banned him from the site for cheating way more recently than the last time he admitted cheating. Mm -hmm. What about butt plugs and fish? I don't understand. I don't think that would give you any tactical advantage. What do we think about this riddle? I'm actually, I'm actually stuck. I actually don't know what to do. I 
I like hearing a monster because it makes me think, yeah, maybe if I kill that monster, we can begin the next event. Come down here. Yoo-hoo, big boy. Come down here. Can you repeat the riddle? Yeah, I mean, there's no riddle. It's, uh, it's this thing before us. Makes the center stone rise. Uh, if we climb up that one and press that thing, it makes the right stone rise. Currently, our issue is that having this stone up does nothing for us. We can't reach it. Not even from that spot right up top on the top of your screen right now. Can't reach that. Gosh, it really seems like we could, though, if we just jumped around that tree. We've, done, we've had both up. Right? I think I feel like we I feel like we could maybe jump around this tree. But still, this seems so unintended. It seems like this stone is supposed to like fall down a little bit to help you up there. Like halfway, right? Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nope. I'm sorry, I read that so wrong. Three times in a row. Okay, here we go. I didn't get to do... I actually tried to do my uh, falling double jump there. But if you hit that tree, you just sink. So here we go. Whoa. Oh, come on! <laughs> All right. All right. We're getting magnetized toward that tree. Here we go. No, you can't make that jump. Dang. Worth a try. Worth a try. Lieutenant Kitsuragi. Thanks for being a 15 monther. Ray stones to reach up there. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Witness the stones. Not now. Okay, 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 okay. That would 100% work if I nailed my jump the first time. That's not a stuffable tip. No, 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 no. That's a legit tip. Legit tip. It's just so hard to actually, like, get up that one wonky gravestone. Let's go, let's go ahead and just, you know, buckle our seat belts. Yeah. And you know what else? This one's up for so long, this should be the first one you hit. The other one's up just for a minute. It's probably gonna sink under my feet, and it, that is exactly what just happened. Okay, 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 okay. So we'll hit this one first, then we'll hit the other one. Stretching his back. I like it, Maximo. Okay. Do you think it's possible? I do. 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 I think it's possible. We'll give it one more try. Oh god. Yeah. 
I don't know how possible it's gonna be, brother. Okay, one more try, one more try, one more try, one more try. It might be up for a super long time. Yeah, I'm gonna presume it's up for a super long time. I have to. I've got to believe. Nice, dude. All right, chat. All right, chat. You got to pay Slurp it up. It's funny. That's the grand conclusion of the level. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, no. Damn. My undies were rumbling, but I was not heeding the rumble. That's what that means to me. Cyclops. This is going to be a boss fight. That was a two-hour level? Yeah, did it count the break? I guess regardless, that's still a long level. Oh, hello. Can I help? Die, foul creature. No, 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 Maximo, no. Maximo, no, 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 no. no, no, no. Hey, you big jerk. What do you think you're doing? I'm destroying the evil gear master. I'm the gear master. And who are you calling evil? Well, gear master, I'm here to stop your, uh, evil army. Say, don't I know you? What army? Yeah, we this met in the army. woods. Crank, pull yourself together. At once, Mr. Stinker. What you have here is a Zin Reaper. Very nasty. Crank is a better name than Clank. And nearly destroyed everything. Morgan and Pockmore were trapped him in the Great Vault. It cost him his life. They're supposed to be there still. You could check, but I'm sure the current Baron would never open it. The Baron. I know the Baron. Dear Master Tinker, you have a contract to finish for me. <laughs> Lord Bane, but I haven't finished my research. You have had more than enough time. Hey, watch the manhandling. You heard the girl. Hands off. Wait a minute. You know this guy? I have found your interference with my Zin very displeasing, little man. For that you will suffer. Hey, Come, dear Master. Maximo, my do Master something. Awaits. Maximo, do Maximo, Destroy stop this from happening. Destroy. Hey, pal. I'll show you. He really just let the sky grab her arm and walk away. Some hero. Ooh. You gotta do fast double jumps on those. I guess I'm going for that eye, right? Oh, come on. Nah. I would call that damage insubstantial. And I think actually our hammer is going to be the way to go. Ah.
I'll do this all day. Don't think that I won't. I won't. Oh, there we go. That's something. Oh, come on. That's cheap. That's cheap. That's cheap. Okay, so my main problem there during that section of the fight. So I forgot R2 is shield. I was pressing R2. shield was up this thing does not care for your shield no oh. I tried to be slick with my double jump I tried to be slick Too late. Cool to know um that uh the way to crack its eyes open is to do a combo on it though. I actually like that a lot. Cool boss fight. Next hit wins, yeah. But I was not able to dodge the uh, this attack once. It got me every time with that. You know what I could have done? Transform into death. A simple press of R1. We would have been in there. Let's try it this time. Okay, and I think another problem is you can absolutely uh, respect the spider too much. He's ultra vulnerable, you know? And that first hit's worth taking to get your full combo in.
decisive victory. Now it's Bane's turn. Nah, I don't believe in you, dude. Mastered. Now it's Bane's turn. He just let it happen. He let it happen. Anyone watching Housing Complex C? I haven't heard of it. This wasn't our deal. You said you wanted to study, not kill. Maximo has outlived his uses. Be thankful you are still needed. Enough of your threats, Lord Buckethead. <laughs> Maximo, you're alive! You are dead? I have no time for this fool's game. Come, my friend. Let me go! Come right down. Maximo, are you familiar with the term fight or flight? Here's your chance to do both. <laughs> Maximo, help! This sucks. Gotta take this ship down. This looks cool, though. So I can't do a full combo on um, these little blue engines. Yeah, they're like ending my combos early. We're in trouble. Thanks that. Armor on punch. It's funny, I get why the first game has shield durability. Shield's a little broken in this game. Oh my god. Brutal! No! What a way to die! Okay, so this is actually very hard. <laughs> this actually sucks. Come on, bro. Don't bounce off them. These guys blocking is a huge issue. Nice. We got a little slurp in there. You're right. Every time I'm, I'm, every time I'm at that limit, right, it, it would have been a good time to summon death, no doubt. That jump attack's cheap. Oh 
my god. I'm mashing the summon death button. There we go. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, come on, man. Brittle. I guess I got armor for breaking that dish, though. That's nice. Mission complete, losers. It's fight and flight, baby. between the stolen souls and the Ooh. army of Zin. I'm not sure. I was told they are supposed to be locked up in some great vault. That's the great vault of Hawkmore. We've got to go there. Though I'm not looking forward to it. Those robots are sucking in the souls. I die too many times. Even the strongest cloth wears out after a while. Try not to die too many times. Mastered! Cool level. Really hard. The uh, hardest thing is getting your combo interrupted by a blocking enemy. The regular skeletons were doing it too. It would just mess you up. Nice change of pace. Exactly, yeah. Road to Hawkmore. Run to Hawkmore. Hey, who's, uh, who's watching Lord of the Rings? It rules. Okay, see right there again, which just combo interrupted. Put you at a huge interact disadvantage. It's really dope. Last episode was great. It's kind of boring. Gave up after the first ep. So yeah, the impression I get right now is that like the show's been good but i don't think viewership is crazy it's not the cultural touchstone that act or sorry uh amazon paid for they paid up to get people talking nice hammer there we go Interesting. We can't get there from here, but I think they just like they just showed it to us. That's at our, our actual price. They showed us the key. Oh, that's so rude. That's so insanely rude. That's so insanely rude. You know what you did. Yeah, it's funny. It's like it's like a good show, 
isn't enough. It's not enough for that to be a good show that a few million people watch, you know? It's gotta be huge to be worth the investment. 3-0 Padres. Bottom of the second. Sad. Oh, come on. You can't be sad yet. You've seen too many baseball games to be sad at the bottom of a second. Okay, so we actually kept that. All right, all right, all right. Now we know that we give ourselves a little savey statey. I fell, I fell for it twice. I figure most of the time you're in this scenario, if you just keep pushing forward, you're fine. Not the case here. You must jump. That weapon's way too slow for this enemy. See, he does, he does get interrupted if you're like hitting him with the end of your combos. All right, so that key, huh? Yeah, that key. It's to our left right now, and I actually think we're supposed to jump to there from that other spot. Because that's our treasure chest. Okay, all right, let's go back. Hey, hey. Worth the trip for that. What TV have I enjoyed this year? I think it's been some really good year for TV. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, Atlanta, Barry, Saul. <laughs> Two seasons of Atlanta in one year. Um, gosh, I actually don't think we can hit that from here. What's the uh, purpose? Bear? Maybe if we do the old drop trick, we could hit that. I don't know, chat. Andor is really good. But it, it definitely seems like you approach it from a side. It does. 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 Can you jump from the ramp? Yeah, I don't think you can get the height, though. There wouldn't be a cave behind it if you're supposed to hit the jump from here, is my guess. You can get another, another like a third jump with that first uh, swipe. So... It's almost like there's a hidden wall or something, you know? Was that something? The ground shook for a second there. We had a sound effect. you do secret lovers Oop. well I'm guessing nobody said that So those you can't even you can't even approach. I guess there is a slight difference between that fire texture and the one that we were running into three times there.
No, you can't climb the walls with a sword unless it's a ledge. It's basically Maximo's version of a ledge grab. Can I throw the shield at the green gem? That's a cool idea. I love that idea. Something cool might happen. Okay, no. Let's try hitting it. Okay, you go right through it. Sounds like it's further. Yeah, I guess there are a lot of times where uh, you see the chest before you get the key. No interrupt on that one. Come on, brother. Let's try to push forward and see what happens. There's our cave. There's our cave. Oh no, I heard somebody who needs help. I'm coming. Oh shit. He died. Okay, we know what needs to be done now. We've got all the clues. No, do an attack. I know you do attacks. There you go. It's so brutal. It takes forever to get that shield back up. Coming. I'm coming. Okay. Whew. Greetings. Let's see what you have for sale. I feel like I can start buying extra armor. I feel like I can afford that. Is that extra things been a four month or I usually just watch the VODs. Uh, on late before bed, so I'm here to pay my dues. <laughs> Thanks, Exter. The interrupt is in the final hit of a million stab, so if you need it, you can stop the combo early. Uh, I'm gonna buy this armor. No, I'm not. I don't need this. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Thank you, boy. Saving my coin. That guy could really use some gold, dude. Not my problem. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh! Should have bought that armor. Ow. Hmm. I'm not going back that way. Those crystals shall remain. All right, let's splurge, let's splurge, let's splurge. Greetings. How about this? Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy we could help each other out. Not this time, game.
Oh! You're nasty. All right, uh, definitely pink crystals if you land there, right? Yeah, just go. Just go quickly. Nice try, buddy. Wish I could see these statues. I made first person. the statue. It's weird it does not match the uh, aesthetic of this game at all. Normal sized eyes. Like Need for Speed Unleashed. Ooh, it's not Unleashed. What's it called? Need for Speed what? What's the new Need for Speed? Unbound. Welcome to the world of Need for Speed Unbound. Here, the citizens of our fictional city crave speed. It's be fast or give up your pink slips. There's my key. No saying where the tunnel for that thing might be. Hello? This is new. Friend or foe? Thank you, sir. Sacred sword. Cool. I'm going to get us both out of here. You're going to be fine. Oh. Cha-ching. Sacred sword. We got our helmet back. We're in great shape now. Do you know what? I haven't felt an undie rumble this whole level so far. I feel like we're due. These beasties. We're gonna have to kill those beasties if we want the sacred sword. Alright. Oh, oh! Close, 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 close. Alright, beasties. I love a character who just screams at hey when you break his armor. I think it's actually kind of cool. Okay, so they can't be flipped out of their rolls, it seems. Oh, hey! Sacred sword draws nearer. Okay. No 
no key for that. Right, 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 right. Okay. So what makes this sacred? Ooh. I definitely did, unfortunately, immediately think of Chris Pratt talking about bopping Koopas in the original Mario Brothers at the arcade in the laundromat. For hours. They made me think of that moment. Line. <laughs> Dude, I just want to drink. I just want a sippy sippy. I don't want a shield upgrade. does not come very close. We see armor. We see armor. Okay, okay, okay. We got a shot. We got a shot. There's a chance we could pull this off. Oh no! You knew better. No, 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 no. I'm gonna say that was some wanky panky, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not right, game. That's not right. Uh, so I think um I think what it is is you cannot uh pull back on the jump. Yes, there we go. To be fair, you could in fact bop Koopas in the original Mario Bros. Oh my god, that's why we that's why we made a safe state. We're fine though. We are fine. Are they called Koopas? Ooh, and now those things just melt to our flaming blade. Cool. Very cool. I love the Zelda-esque technique of being introduced to a new enemy that you struggle with. You get a new weapon or item, and it's like, oh, I can handle these things easily now. Dispatch. In retrospect, they're Koopas. Okay. <laughs> I feel like they're just called turtles on the side of the arcade cabinet. We can leave now. Thank you for the help. Okay. Big bad for beetles. They were literally called turtles. Pratt was calling them Koopas. Oh, okay. All right. Risky plays. All right. Who in who in chat? Who in chat? Who in chat will be surprised when that rock falls? You fell for it. You fell for it. 
Okay, um, nice heal, nice heal, nice heal, nice heal. So, along this path would take us to a chest that we don't have the key for. I think we gotta go this way. Oh, shit. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, shit, I can't get up. I got you. Spare suit of armor. Okay. Hey, buddy! New weapon! Cool. Uh -huh. Okay, let's just, you know what? I've seen enough. <laughs> Me too. Ooh. Fun. I love that we get a new weapon in this level. And that it's actually stronger than the other stuff. That's on me, that's on me. Ooh, easy Maximo. Man, he was ready to just launch himself backwards. Okay. Unfortunately, we're still pretty full on armor. We'll get that little, we'll get that little 5% boost. Hey, hey. Thank you, buddy. If I can deny Galoombas, Pratt can call them Koopas. All right. Do I think Pratt is truly passionate about Mario or reading off? Uh, I don't think he was reading off, as evidenced by the gaps between thoughts. Um, I don't think he's honored truly, emotionally, to be playing Mario. The man's had too much success. But, uh, I think he's happy to play Mario. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Care to purchase an item? I kind of feel like we're not going to find better uh, stuff to spend our money on. You know, like me, one of these has to be a boss melter. Yeah, sorry. I'll try to uh, I'll try to remember to equip the uh, iron undies next time I see redundant armor. Chris Pat got famous on Parks and Rec. What did he do before that? I think he lived in Hawaii. I think he was an actor. Might be that new stuff won't appear until you bought the old stuff. I, uh, you know what? Yeah. I think you're right. I like that theory. Let's see how that works out. Spend in cash. Mighty blow. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Okay. So we're hoping the next merchant we see... Yeah, right. Nobody in chat fell for that. Nobody in chat fell for that. <gasps> I 
I wonder where our checkpoint is. This is that's a nasty one, dude. Our checkpoint has to be closer than that. Yeah, we've collected the treasure at least in this checkpoint. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take this. No, I wasn't. Chad, I wasn't tricked. I wasn't. I, obviously, obviously, I wasn't tricked. They didn't trick me. They didn't conquer my wits. It was a mechanical failure on my part. Thank you, boy. Fell means fell. All right. Okay. I think that Thank mighty blow. Thank you, boy. Won't you give me that mighty blow? Why would they make a level without undie shakes? Henry Cavill is honored to play Geralt of Arivia. I might buy it. I might buy that. What do you think about that waterfall? I think it's really just the waterfall. Okay. Easy money in this game means you're about to face a challenge. There is no easy money. Hey! Yeah, the spin attack is uh, invincible. He just got one spin. Like some uh, Zelda's fir Ocarina's first dungeon stuff here, where we're gonna burn those spider webs to make them drop their uh, treasure. Okay. Okay. This is something. Zelda is the girl that you know. I've seen that theory before. But to me, it's like, you know, like the ash is dead kind of theory. It's like, okay. Cute theory, fun to think about, but it's like there's not enough evidence in the canon to support it. Um, at this point, I now feel like we are progressing. Baby, I feel like we're progressing. Uh-huh. Chop, chop. Can he break those? No. No, no, no. I don't like Squall as dead either, Chad. I hate that shit. Thank you, 
it's cool running into these other knights. I like this. As we dig deeper into this game. You've acquired pizza and candy. You're ready to party. Nice. I would like those two things. Cause baby, I feel like we're progressing. Honk, 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 honk. All right, so the beetle rolled up. That means switch to shield. Just get used to it. Can't mash your way out of a beetle fight. <laughs> we almost got hosed there, dude. Fortunately, this thing rolled right down with us. Well, actually, I don't think that solved our problem. I think you're still stuck where you don't want to be stuck. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Ooh, what do we think about this? What do we think about that? And then there's something up there, isn't there? Isn't there? Isn't there? Would you tell me if there was? Yeah, 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 yeah. I would, I would, I would, I would. There's something up there. So we might have to... Baby, I feel like we're progressing. Yep, 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 yep. Chop, chop. Shades of Stan Lee. Oh, uh, to me, it's much more, um... Princess Bride guy. <laughs> Who I think is also on Boy Meets World. Was Princess Bride guy a teacher on Boy Meets? Oh! My undies! Yes! Meundies.com, baby. Oh, come on. He was like, inconceivable, Mr. Matthews. Oh, this was the entrance. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, come on now. So to get that, he's not gonna ledge grab, even though it makes sense to. Um, to get that, you would have had to have that barrel not slide down as it did. There we go. You can't just swipe at it, though. Man, it really is like a triple jump. That little swipe. All right, now I think we're clear. We may master this level yet. We got a key hanging onto our belt for a treasure chest I haven't seen, so keep your eyes peeled. There's no way a man named Wallace Shawn was not on Boy Meets World, a show about a boy named Shawn. You're not thinking this through, chat. Mm -mm -mm. Triple check the IMDB. It is, it is inconceivable. here's the thing. I've never seen Princess Bride because it looks boring as shit. But I know that guy. No. Please live. Please live. And the only way I could have been exposed to this guy, Wallace Shawn, is Boy Meets World. Think this through. No, no wonder Kyle's so toxic. I don't know what you're talking about.
Okay, so that key that we put in that chest does not actually belong to that chest. So that chest key is right here. Do you think that guy is dead up top? Hope he's still battling. We're coming, buddy. He lives still. Nice, dude. Thank you for the help. Reapers, cut the bridge. He's the principal in a goofy movie. Okay. Did you ever watch Toy Story, or was that a waste of time? Both. My dinner with Andre? Chat, no. Talk about boring as shit. Okay. So, we're going to... Hit this, double jump there, double jump there, double jump there, knock three crystals, move forward. There's chat, chat. There is no way in this realm. All right, we need to, that's already, that's a wash. There's no way in this realm I'm going to like Princess Bride as much as you think I could possibly like it. Oops, I accidentally started a song on the PC. Stand by, stand by. Stay with me, chat. Stay with me, chat. Don't go, chat, don't go, don't go. Stay with me, funky chat. Keep it. <laughs> it was an improvement over this tune, but uh, I don't like clashing music. All right, let's see if we mastered this one. Oh. So that means there were three spots. Exactly, the number of treasures I missed, too. Three spots where I was missing the shaking undies. Wallace Sean. Where do I know you from, Wallace Sean? He's a teacher in Clueless. Is he not? Yeah, 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 yeah. 1995, we're talking Boy Meets World. We're talking Clueless. No, Clueless is good shit. Stupid chat. Stupid chat's watching Princess Bride over and over and over and Clueless once. Mr. Koi, thanks for being a 28 monther. Crazy, I didn't realize he's also Rex. Ezra in the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> I 
He's got a just he's got a principal voice. <laughs> Happily Never After is a great name for a movie. Also animated. Scooby Doo and the Goblin King. Mr. Gibbles. Man, what's the deal with your career? It's a, it's a bouncing back between good shit and cats and dogs, the revenge of Kitty Galore. Versatile. Perfectly balanced. Timmy failure mistakes were made. <laughs> I wish it wasn't based off of a book series. Alright, so I'm gonna guess he's also on Clueless, the TV series. He is! He is! He is. That's where I know this man. That's where I know this man. It's not just for one day. Oh, no. Every day is an ordinary day. Cool little show, good show. Uh, Faye 4K, it looks to be a 27 monther. <laughs> Lots of TV! Lots of TV! Lots of TV. This man works. Holy shit. Dr. John Sturgis of Young Sheldon. <laughs> 42 episodes? Bro. <laughs> this guy's in like every episode. <laughs> it's like once every three episodes, Dr. John Sturgis shows up on Young Sheldon. That must all, yeah, that's how I know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That must be it. <laughs> Is he the same character in both Gossip Girls? I swear he's Cyrus, Cyrus Rose in Old Gossip Girl. Yeah, check this out. He has a romance plot with Sheldon's grandma? Holy cow, you could get me to watch that episode. There are two gossip girls. Yeah, I wonder if they're actually like timeline connected. I thought it I thought it was an absolute reboot. They are timeline connected. Cool. Really cool. Rex and Kingdom Hearts 3, great. So it doesn't seem like he gets a lot of original roles for video games. Uh, King's Quest counts. Now, this, you might get me to play. You never told me there was a Princess Bride game in 2008. Yeah, we could definitely do some baseball tonight. Hypnot! Why, why would you just say that? Hypnot! And also, he got he snuck into Family Guy video game. We gotta stream that someday, too. This is Bride Game, dude. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. It's not what you thought it was. 
players explore the depths of true love and adventure. Oh, of course. Sounds like Br Princess Bride fans. Collection of five mini games. Okay. As You Wish is a time management challenge in which smitten farm boy Wesley attempts to perform specific farmyard chores for Buttercup. Battle of the Wits. We were just talking about this. I lost a Battle of the Wits to this video game. Ooh, I like this. A Rube Goldberg machine puzzle of combining various unlikely objects available into a siege engine. Yeah, I like this. I like this shit, big time. You ever played the Incredible Machine chat? <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, here's our guy, right? Inconceivable! <laughs> That's our... This is the guy! That's the guy we've been talking about for the last 15 minutes. Making a Rube Goldberg IRL would be a really fun stream. It's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of trial and error. IRL is just failure, 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 failure for hours and hours and hours. Which I guess you're used to watching. Never heard of Besiege. I don't know it. Um, so, it's not what we expected. I wouldn't be opposed to playing it. I actually think it'd be hard to get this game to run. It looks like PC only from 2008. I bet that's super hard to get run on a current day computer. Are we absolutely certain that's not Andre the Giant? Let me check again. Yeah, that's inconceivable, guy. I'm, I am 91% sure this is Sean. DOS box. <laughs> God, he plays Rex in Kingdom Hearts 3. That's so cool. Rex is responsible for spawning the future of the Kingdom Hearts series. He's playing that Rex game. Which then connects Sora into the future of the real world. What's it? It's called, like, Signum Rex? Rex is part of Yozora lore. Yeah, I know. Pivotal role. Toy Story the Musical? No way he showed up every day for Toy Story the Musical. For eight years. There's no way. Virum Rex. Yep, Virum Rex. Night thoughts. You're right. There was most likely a Rex suit. That's like, oh no, Woody! This is inconceivable! That kind of thing. Yep, yep, yep. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> For sure, that's what happened. <laughs> Okay. A power this path. We need better mastery. That was poor mastery that last level. Yeah. Hypna! <laughs> I had actually forgotten about Hypna. Oh shit. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Nice. All right, now let's see if this man has new stuff to sell us. He's still scared. We should look up William Daniels now. Who is that? 
Mr. Feeny? Cool. Nice. It is Mr. Feeny. Well, shit. All right. I'm game. William Daniels is 100% on... Boy Meets World. Look at his Wikipedia page. Bro. Okay. In 2014, Daniels reprised his role as Mr. Feeney in the pilot episode of Boy Meets World spinoff, Girl Meets World. He cameoed in the final scene, praising the adult Corey Matthews for his parenting. He made additional appearances in the second and third seasons. I've seen him in 1776. I've seen this. He makes John Adams seem like a cool guy. Hold up. Super Intelligence is a 2020 American romantic action comedy film directed by Ben Falcone. Why is Kit in it? What's this about? What is this? What is this? When did this movie happen? When did that come out? Blades of Glory, bro. Chat chat was watching Blades of Glory. 2020. I know. It must have, like, this must have been only on HBO Max. I'm going to go watch this. No Werewolf by Night, okay? I got to watch this instead. Theatrical in some international markets, the film grossed $4 million and received mixed reviews from critics who called the film forgettable. It was removed? <gasps> this is one of the movies that just got trashed? There's no way to watch this movie now. Tax write-off. Lost media. Gene Smart. President Monaghan. Sam Richardson's in this. This is the cast. Ken Griffey Jr. as himself. All right. <laughs> Okie doke. And then back to William Daniels. Anyway. A lot of TV. Wow. Look at this career, dude. Lego Dimensions as Kit as well. That's cool. Yeah, St. Elsewhere was the big one. Crazy he also showed up for five episodes of Grey's Anatomy. Not just a not just a little cameo. Boston Legal. You gotta be on Boston Legal. Alright, and now we're done. We're done for the night because we're about to dip into a Boston Legal wiki again. Alan Shore. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Nathan Fielder at the Mets game. <laughs> I have to believe his publicist prepared him for this it's good shit though oh my god talking about good TV this year 
And I forgot about the rehearsal. Maybe my favorite show this year. This might be one of the best years of television of all time, actually. This is a good one. 7-0 Padres. Dang. Now you can be sad. Now you can be sad. I said don't be sad after 3-0, but 7-0 is rough. You can start being sad. Can we connect your IMDb to Boston Legals in five steps or less? <laughs> I don't think so. I think uh, my M IMDb was created by somebody at Game Trailers. Right? It's got it's like it's like a bunch of Game Trailers shows are listed as if they're like uh, full on productions. Like, I think Bonus Round has an IMDb page. Why are you still cowering, dude? I need to buy stuff from you. Oh, here it is. No, I don't think Vinyl Bossman has an IMDb page. Still cowering. Cross your fingers for new stuff to buy. Piercing blow. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that sounds awesome. And this actually seems like a permanent upgrade. I feel like the perm upgrade is worth buying now. Now that we can afford it, I think it's worth it. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Doubled it, dude. Ah. Final boss one has a nine point two out of ten. Not bad. I should feel more grateful to have that stuff on IMDb, but I think in my heart it feels fake. You know what I mean? Doesn't feel legit. Yeah, we gotta start respecting those bad boys again. GTTV has an 8.7? A little high. They weren't all winners. Okay. So what's annoying about this scenario is we don't know the proper order in which we should hit these gems. So I'm going to make a guess, and if my guess fails, instead of having to reset, I can now make a safe state. My guess is that's the last one. Because this can tend to be a cool game. Actually, now that I see the layout, I'm changing my guess to the opposite of what I just said. Bro, you're nasty. Ooh, okay. First guess was right. We did have a sacrifice. We took our... Sacrificed our helmet for that. And we got one back. Nice. Hmm. 
The only episode of GTTV you remember was the Iron Man 2008 one. Gosh, I mean, I'm, like, I'm probably at a point where I would struggle to remember two episodes now. Uh, one that comes to mind immediately is Jeff Keighley talking to Todd Howard in Colorado or some snowy place about Skyrim. I think we used to do kind of fun talking head episodes where it would be like a bunch of journalists talking about game of the year and what's going to win. I think those were kind of fun. Get like Mega 64 in there. remember very many at all actually cool dude I expected there to be some sort of drawback for picking the uh, upgraded weapon, but so far it just seems entirely better. You don't have the key. Shit. Uh, I'm going to knock that down with my shield. Okay, I said it out loud, but I also didn't believe. It makes sense. They give you the shield potion right there. Cool. Whoa. Big gooby. Hey, big gooby. Ow! Oh, just switch weapons. I'm mashing it. Oh, he did switch weapons. Got it. Without raising his blade. That was a nasty, nasty big gooby. How cool is that? It just started mining. Like we're playing Elden Ring or something. No, I caught you mining. Love that. It had a purpose. Is this game better than Medieval? It is, actually. Um, can I get an Oya for just finishing making a world map for my D&D campaign? It took me three weeks! It's fully custom, very proud. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. I'll come save your life. I'm coming. This guy's gonna give me a key. key for me now. Thank you, sir. No, I don't want gold as much as I want the key, buddy. There's our key. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. We know it must be done. We just got a handle. A jump. Like any other jump. The water is bad. It's not water at all.
Hi. Thank you, kind sir. <sighs> okay. back to our skivvies. Well, shit. What are you whimpering for? Oh, I got you, I got you. What do you have for me? I can no longer afford that. Thank you, boy. Thank you, good sir. Please be a key. Okay, so the problem we have right now is that we have one key. One key. Uh, there's a treasure chest right there, and there's one deep into this spot. So it kind of suggests that the one that we have deep in here... Two keys, baby! You just had to let your undies rumble. Nice. Big Gooby was guarding it, yeah. Huh? Hey, did we find any evidence of this game getting referenced by Capcom? Search continues. I get that Ghosts and Goblins is cooler. More of a classic. More iconic. I get that. Ow. Alright, big gooby. The second it clinked, I knew better. Okay, he doubled. Okay. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive. Be happy to be alive. Giving up on the Kyle and I do IMDB link. I think it's not gonna happen, chat. I don't think we can connect to Boston Legal. I hear somebody. So we'll toss him up here. Mm -hmm. I hear you, buddy. I'm coming. Two of you in here? What's going on? Thank you, sir. Oh, you mean Big Gooby. Much obliged. 
Much obliged. Oh. I see you. You didn't even need the undies to find this one. We all knew what you were hiding. Okay. This is a right mess. Thank you, Flame Sword. Oh, nasty, nasty. Well staggered. Not our best hallway fight. we go yep and cool hmm. nice love getting the helmet man feels so nice you feel secure oh huh. big key up there No, 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 no. I don't tolerate that video game. I don't like how you operate. Sometimes the game just pushes me. I think I can make this jump. Nice, buddy. Okay. Got it. You're pushing me, Charlotte. You're pushing me. <laughs> no, Charlotte. You're pushing me. Okay, okay, okay. It was not a viable strategy. You should jump. You should jump. Kyle to Keeley. To Mickelson. To Cumberbatch. To Star Trek. To Shatner. You did it. What is, uh... What's Mickelson Cumberbatch? First Doctor Strange, I forgot about that. Oh. So I did a roll because I wanted to get my shield up to collect coins. Sometimes you're bummed. Sometimes you're like, dang, that's that actor's spent in the MCU now. We're not going to get him for anything else. Okay, I don't know about that one, buddy boy. I don't know about that one. Okay, hey. All right, let's see about our mastery. Were we masters? The level's not over yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm. Re I wanted more. I'm ready for more. I welcome the challenge. Oh no, I'll be up. I'll be right up. I'll be right back up. Oh shit, I'm coming. Oh boy, 
Get up. Get up. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming to help you. Uh. Come to my aid. I'm coming. You're fine, brother. He's not fine. I'm coming. There we go. Phew. Thank you for the help. The poor beetle and the hive. This key may help you. Thank you, sir. Well done. Staying alive. Much obliged. <sighs> Much obliged. Back at you. Okay, once more, it's about, like, figuring out the order of these crystals. What's strange about this one is that they are not reachable by my blade. Which might mean we have to shield throw at them. Which is weird, because previously they required my blade to activate. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that activated it. Okay. Nice try, game. Just take a trip into your under hey! Ow. I might just waltz into your under -heart. What do you think of that? What might I find in the Bull Beetle's under? Okay, quite enough. Quite enough, game. Combat has resolved. No more. No more. No more. Kind man. Okay, so I feel like this is undebate. I feel like we're gonna get our undie run bowl somewhere around here, you know? Hello? Yup! Okay, so... Another order of events. So we're gonna we'll just do this here. I'm not gonna have the patience to uh, go down and refill our meter every time we goof this up. I'm assuming it's gonna be this one, bottom one, top one. That's my first guess. Can we donate to make the undies rumble? No. The game decides when that happens. Okay, so it looks like uh, middle one's actually last. It did seem like bottom one was still spurring. So we'll do top. Next. And then middle. Welcome to my undie rumble. Welcome viewers to my undie rumble.
the world's premier wrestling tournament. Oh, we play by the rules. Uh-huh, and then pop. And then you're good. Nope. <laughs> okay. And then bop. There it is. Okay. Bot. You might notice I still have a key attached to my undies. No, 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 no. Might as well. Sorry. Where is the chest? Was it up top? Did I not crack a chest up top? It's break time. Okay. Yeah, I think we might have to do break time before we finish this level. We're close. We're close. We're very close. There's our chest. <laughs> One more save state, dude. This is going to be a tough jump. Nice grab, Maximo. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then we saw it. We saw it. How's the game been? It's been good. It hasn't been mind-blowing. It hasn't been like, how did they achieve this? But it's been good. Okay. Um, I think we're going to now dip into this crevice and finish the level. No! That's what you thought. The ball beetles ain't done with you yet. Okay. Now we're going to finish this level. One last crevice. Hi! Cross your fingers. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Damn. Miss some undie rumbles. All right, all right. Ooh, the underhive. Gonna take it into Wonder Hive. Welcome to the Space Jam. So, uh, let's do, I think, you know, about an hour. So, probably one more mission. These levels are kind of long. Let's do one more. Let's do the Under Hive. And then let's play some baseball. t -Beaks, we did see Nathan Fielder, but I do appreciate the context of that expression being that he's watching a blowout. That helps. Something's weird about those times. You don't think that level was three hours? We did look at the inconceivable guy for a long time. Maurice Sean? Down 400k. I want more pain. Snug mode. That is brutal. Wallace Sean. Wallace Sean. Um... But at least you know that that 400k went to other people in chat. If that's any solace. Solace one? Is that something? All right. See you all soon, chat.
Nobody told me it drooped. Nobody told me it drooped. <laughs> the sign, the sign drooped. I had to fix it. Oh, that's too sweet, buddy. That's too sweet. All right, we're rushing forward. Here we go. Careful. Yeah, it was like crooked when I got back. We'll fix it tomorrow. Mucho said it was good. Hey, none of that. He is purring. He just wants Ramona. <laughs> Excuse me. If you bat at her one more time, I'm going to tell you to get. All right. Excuse me. Get. I told you I'd tell you to get. Don't do it. I know exactly what you're focused on right now. Don't do it. Now what? Now you're just looking for some other thing to annoy me with? No. <laughs> He's sitting on the armrest, which is, you know, it's small. It's like, you know, the size of a desk armrest. He really is. He's just looking for another little thing to knock her. No. 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 If you want to hang, you can hang, but like, don't fuck with anything. Hey. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, you know better. Take that paw off. <laughs> he is being so bad right now. He's got something on his mind. What are you going to go do? You going to tear down my poster? What's on your mind right now? Yeah, he's being feisty. He's being absolutely feisty right now. Yeah, the Halloween Pals are coming back. October 18th, says Zio. I think it's worth one. I think it's worth one owning one of those Halloween Pals. Your cat Thomas was watching Mucho. <laughs> I mean, all right. You know, cats watch cats on TV sometimes. Most of the times, they can't care. But the thing is, Mucho was absolutely up to some shit. And I feel like a cat would recognize, like, oh, this cat's up to some shit. I gotta see this. Hey, hey. Oh, he's in, he's in such a mood. Have I seen the cat on TikTok who loves watching cartoons? I have not.
Is it real or fake? Mucho watches TV only occasionally. It takes something special to really grab his attention. Speaking of limited time, limited time collectibles, does anyone know the name of the artist who makes the Plague Doctor figurines? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AJ Locasio. I, I do have one. It's right here. Unfortunately, Blondie, they were for sale last week. We missed out. They'll be for sale again. It'll happen again. It'll happen again. But yeah, we missed out on the, on the first run. They are called... Uh... I can't remember what these things are called. You're right, you're right, you're right. We can't say spoopy, but we can say spoops. You can say spoops. Spoopy's been outlawed, but spoops is fine. Too many. Easy. What happened? Ambushed. You were escorting the Baroness. Baroness. Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Rest easy, my friend. Your sacrifice won't be in vain. Cool. Elizabeth? Still in the key. Yeah, his eyes were really, they were like Sonic the Hedgehog style, where I feel like I was looking at one eye. I feel like there's one eye on, like, it's, like I feel like there's a white sphere on the inside of Maximo's head. Are you going to watch Chainsaw Man next week? Yeah, sure. You got me watching Gundam every week? I might as well watch Chainsaw Man every week. Is Gundam Sundays? Why did Spoopy get outlawed? Uh... I can't remember who it was. Somebody with the resub message simply asked, "Hey, can we get can we get the word spoopy outlawed? Can we get it uh, muted?" And I was like, "Yeah, why not?" Okay, so it does take two. It takes two, baby. So, the, like, when it falls on the second one, it falls so fast that I always felt like, man, maybe I could have done it with one. It takes two, baby. Are you smelling a little panty rumble? <laughs> Excuse me, undie rumble. Undie rumble. Undie rumble. Excuse me, undie rumble. Cause I feel, I feel like this was the spot. Well, we got this. <laughs> undie rumble. I said, if you, chat, if you check the clip, if you check the clip, I'm clearly saying undie rumble. <laughs> Reload your save state from before you said that. I don't know. You, I don't even know what you're referring to. Nice. No way we would ever turn that vacuum off. We've just finished two levels in a row where we've missed the undie rumbles. And I'm starting to overthink it, you know? It's got me panicking. This will be dog-eared for Kyle's Twitch review. <laughs> Alright, big gooby.
I knew better, I knew better. The first clash. Shield up. Okay. Drink up, my friend. Drink up. Um... I don't see an incentive to go there right now. We'll do this first. Sorry, my friend. Nice kill. Come to my aid. That's what I say during Fortnite. Just trying to push him back. Can we ban the word panties? No, look, I don't love the word panties. I don't love the word. But we can't ban it. All right, teach me a new move. Super meter upgrade. <laughs> it is permanent. I think we should take it. All right. It seems so far that throwing the shield is the only thing that eats meter. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Especially not before the Bayonetta 3 stream? I don't think... I don't think it's going to come up during Bayonetta 3. I don't know the best way to put this. I don't think it's going to come up. Oh, dude. Alright, so I think uh, I think we're going to feel a little undie rumble down here. That's my, my theory. We felt it. We're starting to predict the undie rumbles. We're getting a sense for it. Uh, do you have a key for me? Much obliged. You do. Thank you very much. Undie rumble intuition. That's exactly what that was. Turn off your targeting computer. <laughs> okay, that's uh, too much. Weird, what would I have done there if there was no meter? Normally they'll give you a little um, shield refiller. Definitely worth buying the extra meter, I guess. You see, there you said definitely and I guess in the same sentence. You could see why this is weak English. What? Stop that. What, ha what happened there? Xbox, stop. Stop. 
So there's some sort of command that you can press on this controller that like activates NVIDIA game mode or whatever that was. Very nice. I thought you turned off game bar. I thought I did too. I'm fairly certain I did. But if you type in the right key command, it comes back. All right, here's the thing. Connect Panty Rumble is... Not a good joke. <laughs> I need you to, I need you to check your math on that one. We got an easy rumble over here. Oh, you had the key, huh? All right, so where's, uh, that, that is it, that is it, okay. Oh, uh, you know, most games would have killed you. Most games would have killed you. You're lucky. I know. I know. I know. I know. Thank you, game. There we go. Nice, dude. I love getting that helmet. Something nice about clearing out a room like that. That felt great. Oh, I'm coming. Who said that? Who said come to my aid? Oh, a prisoner. Cool. Someone help. Help. Stand by. Killing bugs. I wonder if they were safer inside of the bells. I'm coming. Alright, all good. Much obliged. You're welcome. Much obliged. Thank you, sir. Wow, we're getting money now, dude. I'm not banning the word panty. Chat just needs to learn how to use it responsibly. Done bugs. I stole your precious treasure. Mine now.
Weird, right? You almost don't like landing in a spot like this. Too much treasure out here. No such thing as free treasure in Maximo. There's gotta be a rumble in here, right? Now we're good. I'm not happy you can just put the word spoopy into other words and Twitch doesn't care. That doesn't make sense. I don't know why they allow it. The evasive bugs. Okay, okay, stop this. The way we win is with patience. Okay. There are more. Uh, I know it, I know it. I know it. Oh, no! My patience! Did we checkpoint there? For sure we did. We did. Okay, the way you win this fight is with patience and also the higher ground. Yes. Okay, spawn some more for me. Spawn some more. We know we're right where that key goes. All the way back. No, Loka Luca, I've not seen any of the new um, Pokemon. Though, I have to say, what I can infer from the name of that Pokemon is very exciting. Okay, so once more, we got to uh, figure out the proper order of crystal slashes. Oops, sorry. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's, it's because I've been um, I've been wishy-washy on media blackout. You know what I mean? I've been soaking some stuff in, and then uh, so very suddenly being like, "No, I'm good." Okay. Uh... Let's just hit these two and then that one last. See what happens. Nice. You know what we didn't talk about today? And I don't know if Chad is up on this. Is uh, PlayStation Star is launched this week. And I'm already into it. PlayStation Stars is the, like, dumb loyalty system that uh, Sony launched. Where you have levels and... Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. Collectibles. Digital collectibles that just hang out in your digital collection. And don't really serve any per You can go online and see the things that are in your collection, but you just like to have it for yourself. I'm saving my money. 
I don't have any, like, I don't have any collectibles that chat doesn't have. And also, you can't show them on PS5 yet. The only way I see them is on my phone. The trophy loom room for your digital collectibles looks so cheap and bad. Yeah. Can you view the collectibles on people's profiles on PlayStation? Not currently, no. No, currently you can't see a thing on PlayStation. Let me see, um, let me see. If I can show you. Boost the brightness. My collection, my display case. These are my collectibles. And so you would like, you click view collectible. That's like, there it is. <laughs> I have to feel like we're going to, once it's like implemented on the PS5, you'll be able to like zoom in. But for now, like that's, that's the collectible. You can't spin and you cannot spin and zoom currently. Not a feature. I'm not moved to spend money. Yeah, that's the thing is like, if you want to level up, you must spend money. They make you buy full games is the way they describe it. And the trophies you earn have to be rare. <laughs> or better. They said rare or better. So that means you can't buy, um... Jumping Chicken Nuggets. And she's the PlayStation Star system. You gotta earn legit trophies. Which is funny. Uh -huh. Nice grab, Maximo. Well, I guess eventually you can or you can redeem your points for actual dosh to spend on the actual uh, store. So there is that. Kladinsky, you have a digital collectible for us? Not your best work, Deb. <laughs> That's a good clip. <laughs> That's a little good. That's a little good. That's a little good. I get so mad at Mucho when he is yelling at a bug. It's like, oh, hell yeah, you found a bug? He's like, yeah, it's over here, it's over here. And like, I'm like helping it get to the bug, right? He's just yelling at it. And then the bug stops moving. And then Mucho's like, Where'd the bug go? Eh. Eh. And I'm like, it's right, it's right there. It's right there. It just stopped moving. It's right there. And I'll point at it, right? I'll point at the bug and then he'll just sniff the tip of my finger. <laughs> it makes me so mad. Yeah, he has dinosaur vision. He has dinosaur vision. 
Much obliged. This place reeks of death. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. Thank you for the help. Cocoons. Use one of the cocoons. Much obliged. Thank you for the help. <laughs> Just consumed a stim pack. That's huge for us right now. Thank you. Okay. This feels like such an undie rumble spot. It's not, though. There's something weird going on up here. Right? Oh, yeah, it's just a chest. Cool. And then the key was up in the air over here, right? The other way. Full-size statue of Link from Tears of the Kingdom from Nintendo Live in Japan. Cool. I don't think he's possessed. Doesn't mean you're possessed if you have a cool power arm that's hard to control. Ooh, it's been a minute since we've seen a mimic. There's a band of mana. Oh, no, it's fine. You can just get up there anywhere. So many barrels. Cool. Since we've seen a mimic. You're way out here, huh? Oh, this is going to be an annoying one if you are not. Let's just wait and see. Let's see what let's see how long it lasts. This might be the first one to hit. I think it is. Mm, I don't know, around. I don't know, bro. Hey, hey. Okay, so we'll get that key, we'll open that chest, but then it's time to uh, knock some crystals. It has been a long time since we uh, had a Tetris 99 cup. They might finally be done. Okay, so... I feel like it would be nice if that crystal is the first one you're supposed to hit. Here goes not an Optimus. Okay, that's the last one you're supposed to hit. Is there a larva in there? 
Yeah, dude. Ew. You thought they were barrels? What did you think they were? Uh, yeah, I guess those are the cocoons. As the game described them. Yeah, I saw the thing for the new Splatfest, but I, um... What I need is for something cool Splatoon-wise to happen in Pokemon for me to Im be impressed with the collaboration. What sucks about coming this way is I don't know if the crystal to the left is still lit. And it was not. Oh, and then my little uh, escape plan was stupid. Okay. Good to learn both of these things. Okay, so you hit long one first and then uh, the upstairs one. second and then this bad boy last yeesh so I guess we'll have to I mean it doesn't last that long damn it is up higher though isn't it it is damn okay alrighty What a riddle. Go bad, go bad, go bad, go bad, go bad, go bad, go bad. Yep. Damn. Is that not it? Bottom one's still shaking. So it might be bottom, middle, top. No. It might be. It might be. Be prepared for that. Ah, bottom wasn't shaking for that long. It wasn't shaking for that long. Mid, bottom, top. You got it. Maximo, I need your cooperation here. Okay. <laughs> I feel like if he jumped correctly the first time, we would have had it. short, dude. Bottom is really short. I'm trying top, middle, bottom. Nah. Yeah. 
This is nasty, dude. Mid top bottom. I swear we've done mid top bottom. <laughs> mid top bottom. To the tune of Zoot Suit Riot. Mid top bottom. It's timing. <laughs> Good shit, minions. Great tip. Yeah, that whelp belongs to you. That's your whelp. Now we've tried all the combos. Um... We haven't done, we have not done mid last. And the only reason I don't is because bottom is so tight, but we can try it. Bottom has been done at that point. Um, I'm now considering a shield throw. We might need a shield throw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. All right. What are you doing all the way over here, Buster? Join the team, my little larva. I think they're the same length of time. I think they're both around 14 seconds. I said one a little early. Oh, okay. Join the team. My little baby bug. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. They're all 14. They're all 14. They're all 14. You have a digital collectible for us? That's two cats. Just because the other cat isn't loving up on you doesn't mean that cat loves you less. All right, if all three bells are the same, I believe it makes most sense to do top, middle, bottom. It does. It does. This should just work.
I meant to do shield throw twice. It's circle, dude. It's not square. No, no, not now, Maximo. No, you fool. Both times? Ay, ay, ay. Did we even did we even hit that one? No, we did not. It would still be going. Okay. That's the only time I feel like I've fallen off a, a ledge and he does his ledge grab. Every other time you gotta jump first. Cap would be proud. Cap would be proud. This is how we do it. That was a nasty one. They did teach you to use your shield before this room. So technically that was fair. Uh sure we could reach each of them, but I do think it was intended that you use your shield to uh hit those. Fair play. Quite honestly, fair play. I just caved and pre-ordered the Pixel 7 Pro from Best Buy. They're giving me 570 for my Note 20 Ultra Plus BB. Is giving me a 200 GC. Plus, Best Buy is giving me a 200 GC. What's a 200 GC? Plus BB. <sighs> Gift card. Got it. Thanks, chat. Good nomenclature, chat. Okay, that's why we save state. That's 100%. I was just sniffing the easy fall. Uh, that seems like too good of a deal. Something seems up. If that's the kind of exchange we're talking about here, you know? Good shit, Maximum. You tried. Their iframes start so early when they do their roll-up attack. It's not fair. It's not right. It's not fair. It's not right. That was actually super helpful for that moment. Let's say, uh, you know what? I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't mind a safe state right there. All right, we're gonna need our shields soon. They wouldn't give us this otherwise. A con game. This was foolish. Yep. E. Oh. No. Mm. 
No! Ooh, what a save. Maximo. Man, they hit hard too, huh? Lost some chunks of armor. Quite enough. Quite enough from each of you. Yeah, you hit way too hard. Oh my god. No. Okay, we just gotta get that liquid. Let me slurp that. Oh, that's so cheap. That's so cheap. You're so cheap. You're so cheap. You're so cheap. Okay. Yeah, it's nasty fighting these guys. I actually don't enjoy it. They get too many iframes, and not just the iframes, but um, you, your sword clinks off of them, making you incredibly vulnerable, even though they're not even in a damage state yet. They're just booting up for one. That right there. Hate that shit. Nasty. Nasty! Nasty, dude! Come on! No. No. It actually seemed like that poke might be my best attack against these clowns. You spiky clowns. Stop spawning. Stop spawning. Nice. No, I didn't even need that. Okay. We're good. Is the spin move not good against them? No, because the wind-up takes too long. You'll see me try it, too. I'm just not consistent with that. But no, uh, if that clinks against them, you're kind of hosed. Is that where we came from? Down here? Yes. Copy that. I read. Game, you're out of control. You're so lucky that I have the ability to rewind time. You're lucky, in fact. Otherwise, this little slippery Jones would perturb me. Yeah, that would have perturbed me. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't emulating, I would have been perturbed. Today, not even, not even close to perturbed. Delighted. Delighted, in fact. Just think about Wallace Shawn. Just happy to be here. Wish they could remaster remake these. Yeah, so one thing we've been talking about a lot tonight is that, like... It's weird how Capcom does not seem to acknowledge this game's legacy. And that feels weird because they're pretty good games still. I'd rather play this than uh, Ghosts and Goblins any day. I missed when the uh, helmet picked up. And that's the right that's the right way to phrase it. Maximo's legacy was not preserved. They always felt like first party PlayStation titles to you. Uh, yeah, I guess there's no ports, right? There's no version other than the PS2 version. Is that the uh what was it? The Countess? The, the Baroness? Elizabeth. That's Elizabeth. What time do you want to switch to baseball? I think we'll probably switch right here at the end of this chapter. Baron, 
I knew. Oh. Maximo, you're not my husband. You haven't aged a day. You're still beautiful. Uh. Oh, Maximo. Did Baron send you? <laughs> no, but I'm taking you back to him. And then he's gonna open the great vault for me. Oh, shoot. We ended the level with a key in our pocket. Don't be 72. It's 72. No. With the key in our very pocket. Run it back. <laughs> Load save state. Okay, for you, chat. For you. For you. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. I actually don't know. Oh, there's our chest right there, too. Damn. This is going to be very annoying. Uh, depending on where that chest falls. Okay, buddies. Okay. It's worth it for the mastery. It's worth it for the mastery. What are we playing for if not to be masters? <laughs> All right, let me ask you this, chat. In terms of, you know, scaling our fantasies, what is a greater fantasy? Rescuing a wife from a normal husband or rescuing a wife from, sorry, for instead of a normal husband or rescuing a wife in the stead of a baron? What is the greater fantasy? Let me rephrase. Okay, every 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 game's greatest fantasy is rescuing a wife who is married to a regular person. You're do you're doing what the regular husband could not. But is it a, is it a greater fantasy to rescue a baroness that a baron could not rescue? You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Going into the next level with a helmet? Next level, which I, I'm guessing is a boss fight? We'll take it. You're going to have to watch him call her beautiful again, though. Aged a day. You're still beautiful. Oh, Maximo. Did Baron send you? No, but I'm taking you back to him. And then he's gonna open the great vault for me. Don't open that vault. The man said don't open this vault. I don't know what Maximo is thinking. You're asking if it's better to save rich people? Mm, no. That's a take, though. Three hours and 45 minutes. What a level. <laughs> we mastered it, baby. We mastered it. It was worth it. Old wounds. All right. Well, now I don't think old wounds is going to be a boss fight. All right. Save state that. I think maybe we pick that up on Monday. Is that time cumulative? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. That could be it. All right. 
I think it's time for baseball. Let me set that up real quick. Will not take all stream on Monday. Cool. Yeah, we got lots of stuff to play. I think we're going to have a leftover uh, One Piece as well. Honestly, yeah, depending, it'll, it'll depend on uh, how One Piece goes, really, if we play this on Monday or One Piece. I did get the notification um, that uh, the game has arrived today. So it's it's here. It has arrived. I have arrived. Uh-huh. Go ahead and shut that down. Right? Yeah. All right. Thanks, chat. Thanks for pressuring me into uh, getting that mastery. It, we, I don't think any of us would have rested well otherwise. You would have? I don't know. No, no, no. Think about it. Think about it again. Double check your math. <laughs> you would have not. You know. One Piece chat with Brad's tomorrow. 6 p.m. Eastern time. Just one hour. Not super long. Uh, just the first hour of the stream. Chatting about the entirety of One Piece. Brad is also caught up. In fact, I don't actually, I have not read this week's ish. I have not read this week's chappy. There we go, buddy. Sorry about that weird audio, Jack. Out of my control. Okay, here's our standings. Thank you, Jake Twitchin, for making this guide. Buddies are the undefeated team. The next best team who I'm I'm guessing they're going to go 2 and 2. E2 the Sensibles. There's no way the Sensibles will defeat the 0 and 3 Jankers. <laughs> yeah, let's see that. Let's see that right now. Sensibles versus Jankers is our first matchup tonight. Oh my god. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Sensibles versus Jankers. Hell yeah. You obviously know who I want to win between these two teams. You already know. Will it be spoiling past the anime? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said no holds barred. We're going all in. We will spoil past the anime. We'll talk about wh where we think it's going. I love seeing the Jankers support right now. Wow. What's happening? Really, chat? This is heartwarming. Look at all these people willing to lose their marbles. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. There's absolutely no way. Okay, 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 okay. You're sick for this, chat. You're sick for this.
What an edit, too. What an edit. That thing's just fun. I get why you want to see it every time. I'm I'm nervous about wearing it out. Uh, Nero P, thanks for being a 21 monther, and then Taco Mambo, <laughs> in the mood. Thanks for gifting 10 gift subs. Here we go. <laughs> Sensibles versus Jankies. Zypher, thanks for being a 22 monther. I'm super tired. Can't think of anything to write. Thanks for the streams, Kyle. Okay, Zypher. Uh, from writing advice, when I'm tired. It, oh, I just hit the hit the hay. Even if even if it's just like a nap or something like that, it's like it's not gonna come if you stay up later while you're tired trying to write something. I would always recommend getting that rest. All right, here we go. Okay, come on, jankers! Come on, jankers! Daisy. Okay. <laughs> Easy Daisy. Daisy, did we give Daisy good stats? That was a, these are nice pitches. These are filthy. Hit the wall. It's gonna hit the wall. You're good. You're good. So the sensibles are so fast. Oh my gosh, they're so fast. Nice. Beautiful. Smash that bat. Daisy throwing the heat. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Stay in the park. Okay. Okay. Damn. Damn. Good shit, Daisy. Stay on it. Huge. And? Okay. 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 I think, that, I think they actually played that the right way. Ooh, you got Lee swinging. Catch this, inning's over. The run won't count if he catches this. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Fizz, put a little anime on this. I think it's going to sink too fast. It is, clearly. Look at this guy. I got this. All right, all right, all right. Almost a beauty, dude. Almost a beauty. <gasps> Joe, you don't do that to cans. You don't do that. <gasps> Joe! <laughs> Alright, Beep is gonna mess you up right now. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Beep's ready. Beep's ready. Damn it. That's two strikes. Mm -hmm. Good eye, beep. Good eye. <laughs> Base is loaded. Up to Harv. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, come on. Rough. Rough. Yeah, give him that shit. Okay. Double play. Easy out, easy out. You got this, you got this. Good focus. Throw him out. Throw him out. Oh, don't go to the pitcher first. You had it. You had a good stolen base. Heat. Nice. Two strikes. 
What a play on that ball. We've seen that go by the, uh, the player every time. The infielder, I guess. What a play on that. Clean? Jenker's playing clean. Making the right calls. Oh! <laughs> they just don't know how to move diagonally. <laughs> they just don't. They just don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a wall, though. That's a wall. Oh, no. Not even a wall. What a catch. The over the shoulder. Rip it, Lippy. Come on, man. <laughs> Daisy's playing mad. All right, Daisy. Hey, cool off, cool off, cool off. No. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a grand slam. Oh, it's in the park, in the park, in the park. Only one run. Keep it to one, keep it to one. That was close. That was really close. That's what we're used to seeing. That's three. That's three, that's three, that's three, that's three, that's three. Sensibles, you know, they're doing their ones and twos. Nice double, okay, okay. Easy daisy. Mystery ball is so funny. I think we gave mystery ball to every pitcher on the Jankers. Good play on that. Good play. Good play. Okay. All right. Jankers need three to tie. Yahoo Silverman. Thanks for being an eight-monther. I uh, won't make the every X joke. This is a nice way to end a tough week. Thanks, Bossman. Thank you. Yeah, baseball is made for Fridays and Saturdays and Mondays. Get it together, Joe. Get it together, Joe. He did. He brought the heat there to get the double play. That was filthy. That was filthy. Joe throws like shit for three pitches and then right down the middle. Oh, my God. Nasty. Nasty. Okay. Beep could tie it up with a homer right here. Let's go, Beep. Let's go, Beep. Tie it up, baby. Oh. Don't swing at that, Beep. Don't swing at that, Beep. Okay. Okay. Base is loaded. Let's go, Harv. Don't catch that. He just caught it. He just... Caught it. That was tough. That was tough. Take a pitch, Harv. Yeah, he just swung at the first pitch. <laughs> a lot of beans in that one. <laughs> Sensibles remain undefeated. Wow, 4 and 0 right now, right? Damn. Jankers I think are 0 and 4. I don't think the Jankers have won one. It's not right.
They did lose? They lost to the laser kiss. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yep. 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 They're, there's, they're not undefeated. Let's triple check on that. It's the buddies who are 4 and 0. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Sensible is 3 and 1. It's the buddies who are 4 and 0. All right. Next game. Booby. Stand by. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Buddies versus beef studs is what Boobay means. The undefeated buddies against the team with the two strongest batters in the league by far. Two strongest batters, and then everyone else has no stats. Beef stud and Taz. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We gave a little bit. We gave a little bit to Taz. But almost nothing. Practically nothing. I think Junior has nothing. I forgot about Junior. Reverse my bet. It's too late. Too late. Uh, it's crazy how those bets worked out, considering that buddies are undefeated. There's still way too many people who bet on the beef studs. A lot of believers in chat, and I appreciate it. The buddy system has not failed yet, no. Junior got 15 runs, which is the third most on the team. Oh, okay. So we did we did give Junior a little bit. He still has zero hits this season, right? Take that, buddy. Nash. Beautiful hit, Babs. That's gonna be tough to catch. Yup, 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 yup. Beauty. That's a beauty. Hutch is good, right? Yup. Nasty catch, though. Nasty catch. Okay. Now, typically, our first three hitters go out in quick succession here. Oh! You threaded the needle! Okay, this means we will see beef this inning. Good shit, Rick. Never mind, we might not, we're not gonna see beef. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind that. Never mind. Never mind. Oh! The bean ball. The X Factor. All right, Beef with a batting average of one. Oh! Not a great hit, stud. Ooh, but he's so fast. He's so fast, though. Okay, bases loaded, pits up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, good shit, chirp. Not the leaf! Not the leaf! Oh! <laughs> oh! Nobody's using anime and then Pit's like, time for leaf. Nobody. Nobody was using any anime, but Pit's like, now's my time. I 
Three balls. Full count. Here we go. Get it together, Nash. Nice! The heat! Love that. Good catch. Yeah, the beef studs are in real trouble. Their only chance of scoring a run uh, just went out there at the end of the first inning. Maybe they'll be a, they'll, the lineup will wrap around again to get beef and stud back in there. No, Taz. <laughs> no, Taz. All right, here's Junior. Oh, yeah, Junior has a hit. Look at that. 200 average. And then here's Nash, the pitcher, who has a, also has a 1,000 batting average. Make it 500. Okay. So yeah, the, we'll go back to the top of the order for the beef studs next inning. Ooh! He hit the Super Saiyan fastball. Ooh. That was close. Buddies just are not doing anything tonight. Activate the buddy system. Where's your anime? Buddies, they have to turn on their anime. I think we'll go to extra innings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we will. Which will be cool. We'll have Beef and Stud back, and we'll have the buddies hopefully activating their anime. But we'll see. So if the Beef Studs get one run here, they win. <laughs> Thanks for those bits, Yahoo. Nice, Dole. Threaten him with the anime. Oh, that's so filthy. That was filthy. Yeah, great catch. All right, you kind of you kind of want Matt to go out here. You kind of you don't want to waste your beef and stud with uh, when there's already two outs on the shit. <laughs> All right, here comes beef. <laughs> Come on, Beef. Oh, he wants it. He wants it. He wants it. He wants it. Come on, Beef. Oh! <laughs> that pitcher is nasty. That was a nasty pitch. Fooled me, too. All right, we're into extra innings. The elusive beef strikeout. Yeah, he had a perfect record till that moment. Buddies. Anime. It's time, Hutch. Activate it. Activate your anime. It's time. Nash is tired. This is your opportunity. Damn it, dude. What's going on? Their whole th the buddy system is about anime. Stud. Here we go. Smack this. Shit. <laughs> he did put anime on it. To his credit, he activated his anime. Not the right play. <laughs> Guy second's like, no, you should throw it to first. Okay. Junior taking one for the team. Nash can do this. Nash could actually do this. Toodles. Thanks for being a 25 monther. Oh. Chirp is so filthy. Okay, so you can't go out with a foul ball. Okay. Okay. 
Are we back to Rick? We're back to Rick. No, not the leaf, Rick! Not the leaf! <laughs> Mad. Nash is mad. Oh my god. <laughs> Not the leaf. They had the bases loaded. They only needed one. They only needed one. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no idea what the deal is with the buddies not using anime right now. Ooh. I would have thought to throw it to first, but he got his out. All right, dole up, dole out. Okay, beefs up, beefs up. One runner on first. Okay, stud. Hit us a homer. Holy shit. That's what they pay him for. He, he smacked that one. That is what they pay him for to the moon. That was galactic. That may have been one of the craziest like home runs we've seen in the game. Perfect hit. Now, to all of the people who I called foolish for betting on the beef studs. You don't even need an apology. You're about to take in all those marbles. Oh, I didn't realize I had the, uh, the uniforms up the whole time. You don't even need an apology. You're just eating the marbles. Beef studs win. Huge win. <laughs> Huge win for the beef studs. I am disappointed in the buddies. They forgot about anime the entire game. That sucked. Beef studs, big win. All right, next game. Next game. Bela. First time catching a stream live. Greetings from Fukuoka, uh, Japan. Here's to more late night streams. Thank you, uh, Pliskin. Fukuoka? Did I say that right? Kind of? This is Big Big versus Laser Kiss. Oh, I love this matchup. I like both these teams. I love both these teams. I don't think there's a villain between these two teams. Can we get the score record notepad on the left like we used to? Oh, we can do that too, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Happy to have you, Pliskin. I think both of these teams were uh, two and two, right? Yeah, they're both mid. You're seeing a lot of marbles on Laser Kiss right now because they want... Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. There's the big, big... The Surge. Wow, that was quite... That was somebody plunking down 250, right? Yeah, there's a lot of marbles out there right now. Counter Surge! All right. Okie doke. I don't know what to think about that. How do these keep ending up 50-50? That's wild. <laughs> Blibble. Nice, Hugo. Open up with some anime. I love it. What happened to the buddies? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm so disappointed with the in the buddy system after that game. <laughs> oh! 
He hit it, man. <laughs> he hit it, though. He hit it with the bomb ball, and it just broke his bat. The Super Saiyan fastball is just too fast. It's just too fast. We've seen people hit it before. You must have to be dead on. Uh, Herc, it wasn't bad. Good effort. Lars. Yeah, that's a clear out. Alright, here comes the laser kiss. So the big difference between Big Big and Laser Kiss. Big Big is one of the fastest teams in the league. They have two powers. Quake and Bomb. They like to shake the stadium. Laser Kiss. Slowest team in the league. They have the best anime powers you can have, which is Rocket. There it is. <laughs> There's the Rocket, dude. And Meteor. Or Comet. I forget what it's called. But they're so slow. <laughs> but they're so slow. Fun team to watch. Quicks is out already? Come on, coach. Well, he was clearly sad. All right. Ooh, nice hit, Hoss. Nice hit, nice hit, nice hit, nice hit. And so fast. Big, big, so fast. That's not a double hit, but he got there. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just hit it in the perfect spot. Dino's up. Smash it, Dino. Oh! Okay. Good hit, Andy! Just perfect positioning. That might be two runs. No, no, they're stopping on third. Okay, okay, okay. Two runs for Big Big. There's the quake. There it is. Look at them run the bases. That's cool. I don't think we've seen to this point in the season the quake work on the field. Two runs there. Crazy. Yep, get back to second. Good call. Easy, Ecto. Hey, happy birthday, Matt B. Excuse me. I need a sip of water. I don't have any water. Happy birthday, Matt B. <laughs> I'll get some after the stream. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll get some after the stream. Good out, good out, good out. Ooh, Jack, thanks for gifting that sub. Ooh. That's the speed difference. You're looking at it right there. Good shit, Lars. Never mind. Oh man, it didn't go anywhere. Hey man, four runs, you can't complain. Yeah, that was good. That was probably the Big Big's best inning ever. That was nice. Cuss. Did we give Cuss that kind of power? Zap, zap. Oh my god. I didn't think the laser kiss was like this. Hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall. God, you get you get a hit like that and you only get one base because you're so slow. Unit's good. I remember we give crazy stats to unit. Good hit, good hit, good hit. Had to keep him a second. So slow. Alright, anime time, Burke. Put on the anime. Show him your meteor. There it is. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show him the meteor. Here we go. Catch this. Where are these hits coming from? Wow. Tie game. Ecto the pitcher is up. Okay. <laughs> The big top is in town. 
But it's funny. That's not how Laser Kiss was designed, right? Laser Kiss is supposed to be a shit show with awesome anime. Um, but they're just hitting the ball out of the park. Yes, Chiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit this. Hit this. Stay focused. Stay focused. No, Chiz. Damn it. No, Chiz. Come on. <laughs> I thought he was better than this. You know, he's got an 800 batting average. Come on, Chiz. There you go, buddy. Not this one, not this one. That's in the park. Yep, 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 yep. Still only one out, man. Hit the ground first so it couldn't calm it up. Good play. Good play. Good play. Keep him at four. This is a game. This is a game. Bo and Mild both tired. So we're going to Heen. Who I believe is a relief pitcher. Which typically means we gave them pretty bad stats. But he's using the anime. Yeah, we love it, dude. One out. He's using it a lot. Chug, you gotta... The anime goes away after your first swing. Be patient, okay, Chug? No, Chug... Heen is not laying off the anime. This is incredible. There you go, Chubb. Yep, yep, yep. And? Okay. No, Chubb. You're killing me, Chubb. Oh, he might catch this. He's making a play. Nice, 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 nice. Good effort. That's in the park. He might drop it. He might remember. There's like a 5% chance. Yeah, so Heaton's tired already because we, for most teams, did not give any stats to the relief pitchers, presuming we'd never see him. He got a triple. That's the big, big power, dude. All right, Andy. No, Andy, Andy, Andy. Andy. Uh, stop must be Heen's only power. <laughs> Coach is losing his mind right now. <laughs> it never stopped. It did for a second. Oh my gosh. Two strikes. Heen, that is so... Look at Heen. Look at Heen right now. Look at him. Oh. Uh-oh. Honestly, Heen deserved that. He deserved that. Honestly, he deserved that. A squeaker. <laughs> Just over the wall. Huge. Two runs there. Okay. Fast, but not that fast. All right, Laser Kiss needs two runs. Dre's already tired. He's already pitched 21 balls. There's one easy out. Okay. Come on, Ego. You need your you need your anime on this. Yeah, that's about to. Two outs. Cuss is up. That looked like it. Good eye, Cuss. Good eye. Oh, no. That's game. Good game. Good game, big, big. Good game. Good game. Good game all around. I feel like Heen was pretty clutch with the, uh, the stop balls. But then, obviously, all it takes is one batter for it to stop working. And uh, you lose two in that last inning. 
tough. Big, big win. That last big, big surge, too. In marbles. Uno Moss? Yeah, let's do Uno Moss. 11.52 p.m. Uno Moss. Um, so we're gonna see a redo of the first matchup we saw tonight. Which was, uh, Sensibles Jankers, right? Sensibles you see here at 3 and 1, Jankers at 0 and 4. Yep. Seija. Don't say Jankers lol. <laughs> they can win this. They can win this. It's not even fair. All right, there's still a lot of marbles on the jankers. There's a lot of what ifers in chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Bury the what ifers. Bury them. Smother the what ifers. You know who I'm rooting for? I'm rooting for the Jankers. The Sensibles are about to be humbled by the power of anime. This is the one. Witness the power of anime. Right now. I didn't realize my window's so big. Oh, it's big because I was playing 4x3 game earlier. My bad. You can shrink me down a little bit. Nice pitch, Ribs. Oh, that was nasty. Right through the right through the needle. Does Mucho snore? No. No, he does not. Just smashed that A ball. Just smashed it. This guy's gonna get home. Easy run from the sensibles. Ribs, not your best anime. Oh, I see. It speeds up at the very end. Bum blue. Thanks for being an 11 monther. Okay, it's actually a filthy power. Jankers, you're not going to get a win playing like the Sensibles. Ooh, nasty. Good anime. Mm -hmm. Pile it on. He walked away from it. I watched him. I watched him walk away from the ball. I watched him walk away from the ball. Yes. Easy catch. You got this. You got this. Easy catch. Uh huh. Throw it back in. Okay. That was scary. That was really scary. Oh, what a catch! He was right. He was ready for it. And then the second out. Honestly, the Jankers are lucky that was just two runs. Could have been much worse. <laughs> just walk on over, yep. Ooh, cans! Playing like a sensible. Jankers are not supposed to be able to hit home runs. That was good shit. Oh, easy, Pete. Don't lose your cool. 
beeps up, baby. Oh, beep. Never mind, we gave beep good stats. Smashed it. Smashed it, 3-2, okay. All right, all right, smashed it. Yeah, we got a game. All right, Arv. Ooh, filthy Pete. He's still got something in him. Oh. <laughs> very good. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. No, you're not running home. Is Beep super fast too? Beep ran right in. Don't lose your cool. Don't lose your cool, Pete. Keep it together. Rip it, Lippy. Time to rip it. <gasps> he ripped it. <laughs> he ripped it! Let's go, Jankers. Let's go, Jankers. Okay, okay, okay. Clean it up. 2-7. Easy out. Sensibles needed one of those. That's the baseball they're used to playing. Okay. Alright. You're not ruined yet. There's still two more innings. There's still two more innings. <laughs> Nobody's ruined yet. Look at that. And nice double play. And Ribs is still throwing some good shit. Never okay. Alright, get it together, Ribs. I liked it. I see what you're going for there. Yep. Well played. Oh, foul. He had it. Full count. Come on, Ribs. Nasty! Okay, all right, all right, all right. You should probably start sweating. If you bet on the sensibles. I don't know why Pete's still in here. <laughs> Take him out, coach. <laughs> Get Pete out, he's had a bad inning. All right, Trip. let's see some anime. Put some anime on this. Good double play. Beep's back up. Holy shit, Beep. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it. Beep, beep, baby. <laughs> there you go. Take Pete out. Take him out. Blue. Blue's in. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Blue! <laughs> Pud always uses anime. Pud's about to use anime right now. Put it on it. Put it on, Pud. Oh my god. Two strikes. There it is, there it is. Oh! Base is loaded. Two outs. Lippy's up! Rip it, Lippy! Damn. So Lippy is funny. Lippy is like a zero accuracy, all power. Little sensible Homer. Get the crowd back in it. They need five more runs. <laughs> he just threw that to make him sweat. I love that. Okay, okay, one out, one out. That's two outs. One more out, game over. Fills up, Phil's a great batter. Phil's got two home runs. There you go, there you go. There you go. Okay, don't give up yet. 
Don't stop believing. <laughs> Phil stole a base. <gasps> well done, Phil. Well done, well done. <gasps> what a catch. I thought that was it. I thought they were going to start rallying right there. What a catch. Huge win for the Jankers. Big payday, really, to the people who bet on the Jankers. Yule Scum, thanks for gifting that sub. Fun games tonight, yeah. Good stuff. And now we'll never see lol Jankers in chat again. Humbled. Just as we said, the sensibles have been humbled. Yeah, I want to see who makes the most off of this one. Jimothy! <laughs> and then Yule Scum. And then Lori Moon. The Illuminati went on the Jankers. I can't believe it. The Illuminati showed up for the Jankers and then they won. How do they, what do they know? <laughs> Lots of 250k on the Sensibles. Never go 250k. Never, never, never. No, that was Uno Moss. That it's hard to get a better Uno Moss than the, a Jankers win over the Sensibles, the undefeated team. Just like the uh, Robot Par Party Fantasy League, there is now no longer any undefeated team or any winless team. I love to see that. The Jankers have hope. Hope remains. When the powers lost before, wasn't it also to the worst team? I think so. Jankers aren't the worst team, though. I feel like Buddies are the worst team, but their record's great. They got a 3-2 record. No, Buddies are 4-1. You're right. You're right, it's the Buddies who are 4-1, and, and the Sensibles are now 3-2. and two. Yep, my bad. Yeah, I thought the Buddies would be a bad team. They're great. They, we just saw we saw the Buddies have one bad game tonight. They didn't use their anime once. Zio, what is this image from? Is this from their official website? Can't be. Oh, look at that PNG. That's nice. It is from their official website. That's so funny. Little Star Lord sneaking in. Is somebody doing a little copy and paste? Can we stop by Jupiter Soft in a raid? Can you tell me? who Jupiter Soft is. Is it someone I should know? Uh, tomorrow chat, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, just Jupiter Soft in chat. All right, yeah. Are you, you're streaming right now? I know that is rude. <laughs> Street Fighter 6? Okay. Yep. If you got into Street Fighter 6 beta, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a fun raid. Um, tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, chatting about One Piece with Brad for one hour. One solid hour. We will we'll be going all the way up to what happened most recently in the manga. But after that, we will be switching to uh, uh, One Piece on Game Boy Advance, and that won't have many spoilers at all. It's an old game. But uh, yeah, it's been a while since we... Um, a Game Boy Advance game. Well, no, it hasn't. Dragon Ball Z. Man, I love streaming Game Boy Advance games. Anyway, I'll get that set up for tomorrow. Um, 
And then Monday will be either more of what we just saw with Maximo 2 or One Piece GBA. Maybe both. Cool. All right, so Jupiter Soft, are you you're live right now? If I do raid Jupiter Soft, we'll all uh, head over there after this song, obviously. Cool. All right, cool. All right, chat. Uh, we'll have a robot party, and then we can raid Jupiter Soft, who did sneak in to the elusive Street Fighter Six beta. Uh, see you all tomorrow or in the future sometime. Appreciate you. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. Tie your shoe. It's a robot party. Pet the dog. It's a robot